What's going on, Rial? This is episode 73 of the Swear City Podcast. Oh, I'm just coming back from losing a world title match in Revolution, but I'm still here with y'all. I'm still had to gather my whole psyche because y'all are relying on us. You're watching us. You're subscribing to us. I promise y'all I'll bring you an episode, a brand new episode this week. Here I am, sad and all. Here we are. Gathered here as a nice little family. We color coordinated. Didn't even try that. Didn't even think about it. But here we is, Teasy, co-host, my Teasy. Yes, this buddy. Is the podcast, you know, doing his thing. What's going on, man? Life is good, brother. I, you know, I um, I look forward to you getting your 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 get backs. You know, it was a phenomenal match. I look oh, forward for you to you very much thank to get your much. fair your fair fade, as we say. Fair fade. Your fair fade, as we say. And I'm proud of you with all you're doing. And the journey's not over, brother. It's not. We're yeah. just getting started now. Yeah, yeah everything's yeah. good, man. Make sure, like, before we get into the introduction, make sure you subscribe, comment, youtube.com backslash Swear City Podcast. Before we get into all the pearls, of all we're doing, pearls is a big word. I learned that today. Make sure you guys please subscribe and comment, man. Y'all be hitting us up. Well, where's the episodes at, man? We have everything updated for you guys here on the YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. We want we want 50K. We want 100K. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. Don't just be commenting. You wrestling family to comment, but y'all don't like to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Man. Oh, come on, join us. Join us on this ride. On this ride that brings us one of the best tag teams in the world right now. S- some close friends of mine who we've been on the road for very many, many years. Cross paths, been on the same shows. And now I got them here for, for my enjoyment, for y'all enjoyment. I got the grizzled young veterans over here. What Zach is Gibson up? and James so, Drake. Man. What's good? <laughs> What's, What's happening? good? We in the building. We in the building today. How's everything going, guys? Yeah, good, man. I was just saying before, like, uh, it's good. It's busy. You know what I mean? Like, it, you can't complain about that, but at the same time, like, fuck, I would love some sleep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we don't, we we're not it, afforded you know, that. Sleep. You know what I mean? We're not that, that <laughs> only, but uh, no, it's, it's good, man. It's good. Yeah, talk about that. You just broke down the schedule that y'all got coming up. Oh, like, man. On a, on a, just on an independent level. This is stuff that y'all put together, which so, y'all got going on right now. Right, so starts on the 28th of March. So 28th of March, we're in Ohio. We'll come back for a day. Then we pack our bags, go to London. And we're doing uh, Rev Pro, the big, sh- the big show in uh, at the York Hall. Do, and that's on the 31st of March. Then we do the 1st of April with Rev Pro. Then we fly home on the 2nd of April. We have two days at home before we go over to Philly for Mania Weekend. Then we're doing a, a match with Revolver and uh, House of Glory combo. Uh, we're doing okay. meet and greet. We're doing a meet and greet the day after. Then we go straight from Philly all the way back to London, do a show in London. Then we go from London to, uh, sorry, London on the Sunday of the 7th of April. 8th uh, seminar in London, uh, 9th West, West Midlands seminar, uh, 10th Manchester, 11th Yorkshire, um, 12th is up in the air at the moment. We have some stuff, but we're trying to get it figured out. And then the, the 13th the Barcelona seminar and Barcelona show. Come home. Then we're home for like two, three days. Then we're back on the road with uh, TNA. Man, this is the dedication that y'all don't see. Y'all don't hear about this kind of stuff. But this is the dedication of just the independent wrestlers that are on fire right now. These guys are doing amazing. And y'all really need to show them respect, the proper respect, because this is not easy, especially going overseas. You guys are located in Florida. Yeah, man. Currently. Yeah, so that's like yeah. that's something like a lot yeah. of um, a lot of people kind of forget or yeah. like get confused with, because obviously we are British wrestlers. And, we, you know, we left WWE and normally – you know, when, when the British wrestlers leave WWE, they go back home to the UK and that's kind of them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we got our green cards. We're here. We're here for good. Yeah. Um, so, you guys are you know, stuck with us. Very fortunate. Yeah. So, like, congratulations. <laughs> so, uh, very fortunate for that because, like, that's yeah. not a, like, like, Zach, that's not an easy thing. Y'all had to, like, battle for that. Or is, like, some people, there's, you heard some horror stories. They just, like, as yeah. soon as their contracts yeah, are up, they're gone. Boom. Yeah. So, <laughs> Boom. we uh, we did sort of see the, we saw what was happening with WWE and we sure. made sure that getting ourselves a green card was <laughs> yeah. a priority. Yeah. You know, nothing is promised there. So some people talk about signing for three years, signing for five years, signing for four years. Yeah. The reality of pro wrestling in a company like the WWE, you, they have you, for, if they want, for three to four to five years. For sure. What you have on at NXT is a one-month rolling contract mm-hmm. or on the main roster, you have a three-month rolling contract. Yeah. We're businessmen who are in professional wrestling. So we made sure that we set ourselves up for business you, in the future. Your contract could um, last three hours if they wanted it. To. Exactly. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, you know what it's like there. And so, yeah. like now, um, myself, my wife, we both have green cards. Yes. So we're over here. We're settled in our house, and my daughter is an American citizen. 
Congrats. She was born Congratulations. here. Congrats, yeah. man. Congratulations. She has more rights That's than awesome. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want. You're like, you want the future to have the rights. Like, yeah. Yeah, like for screw me. I can leave whenever. But the kids got to be set. And so that's awesome, man. Like, uh, so what's every, what's, how's everything been going? Like, I saw, like, recently uh, an Impact Wrestling. Yeah, man. Y'all came over, and now you're doing something with Ali. Yeah, Very man. talented individual. Very, like, uh, I feel like both of you guys, all three of you together, really had, like, a chip on y'all's shoulder yep. coming out, and y'all wanted to just go at it hard. Y'all really wanted to just, not just rebrand, but just, like, Find your purpose and find that like that next level of motivation that just like we want to go back out there and prove like why y'all the greatest tag team in the world and why like like there needs to be more focus on it. Ali had the same type of thing like I am everything that I say I am and I'm going to prove it and I'm going to show it you know and y'all coming together that's two like that's three great minds great motivations great talents in the industry. Talk about y'all coming together with uh, what y'all just put out on Impact. So um, just kind of going off what you said there, like there's a fine line between being uh, delusional and confident. Amen. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's a fine line, but like we, we are very confident in our ability. And so yes. is Ali. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, we go back even a few years ago. Um, anytime, like I, I wrestled him a few times in 205 or uh, when he was in NXT with us, um, we didn't, without saying anything, you just kind of know that we're both on the same you know, level yes. like we both knew, well, all three of us knew like, what's up? Do you know what I mean? Um, and I feel like it was, it was just kind of like, it just kind of came to be a TNA. Um, and it, you know, it's just one of those things like you, in wrestling, it kind of, you know, without having to explain things, sometimes it just naturally people gravitate to people, you know, and that's just kind of due to, you know, their attitude or the, the vibe that ha- they have, like you said before, like a chip on the shoulder or something like that. Like, yeah, um, we have a chip on our shoulders. You know, we, we moved from the UK to, to, you know, we didn't move to the, you know, to America and close our wrestling school and say goodbye to our families and friends, you know, just to kind of like mess around in America and go, whoa, look at us. We're, we're now in America. It was actually, we came out here with a purpose and the purpose was to elevate our careers and push right. forward. And uh, for a few years, that was out of our control, out of our control to the point yeah, where, where yeah. we're having conversations and you, you, you know, you're asking the questions like, why are we not doing this? Or why can we not do this? Or why can't we push forward? Because we wanted to, do you know what I mean? Like, and that was an interesting time too. Cause like, oh, I felt uh, like a lot of that control and that power really got like just a weight Yep, over in the entire roster. If well, I'm you like, know, man, like you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of moving parts backstage with a lot of things happening. So, uh, just to jump on a point that JD said there yeah, yeah. about us, um, we we came out here to elevate our careers, right? And then for the last maybe the last twelve months or so at WWE, that's not what was happening with us. So, one of the things yeah, we get asked yeah. quite a lot is like, like what? How could you guys take this risk? How could you take this gamble to walk away from? Like the WWE, how could you do that thing? But ultimately, it's because we are still in the business of elevating our careers. So WWE's stock right now is still going up. It's crazy. They're doing great business. Arguably the best TV they've put out in years. Uh, The company's doing great. But our personal stock wasn't. (laughs) Our personal stock was going down within the WWE. And ultimately, whilst I tried to do business for whoever is employing me at the time, I do have to worry most about our own personal stock. For yeah. sure. So we made that decision yeah. based on us. Now that we're outside of WWE, it was a gamble. Yep. Both of us have to, oh, shit. <laughs> is yeah, this the right thing? Scary, but yeah, we've yeah, both yeah, seen already, sure, in the yeah. short time that we're out, we've already seen our personal stock is going Just back skyrocket. up. Skyrocket. That's exactly yeah. why we left. I've seen you guys like um, right at House of Glory, yeah. like yeah. shortly yeah. right after. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, there's my guys. Yeah, 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 there's, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. there's my boys, you know what I mean? It was that kind of feeling. Like talk about, like, uh, that feeling of like you're seeing new, like not, I wouldn't say no, new young talent, but new prospects coming in yeah. and you're feeling like the way that you're feeling, like how you're saying, like you're feeling like your personal, your stock is just going down, but they're using that stock or whatever to elevate people that don't ha- necessarily have the same wrestling passion. They're kind of, they're trying to find their passion. Yep. You know, that's their job. They're trying to find their passion. You have it. You've literally, dedicated your entire lives like you were talking about you moving your whole family over like from across the the, the, the world to do this and you they're pretty much taking that passion and trying to like it almost feels like they're trying to morph it into other people no man they're for 100 like, so there was, there was yeah. something that was like and again like a lot of people had the best intent over there 
Yeah, for there's sure. one thing that someone said constantly as like a sort of like a catchphrase for everyone to kind of like motivate people. And yeah. I will say it is a good thing to say, but when in our situation and where we were, it was the worst thing you could say to us. Mm. When they would say, pay it forward. And I would say, pay what forward? Because mm. I've not got it. You're not mm. giving it me. What am I paying forward? Pay me like, first. Pay me first. <laughs> and then you know I'll pay I mean? for like, pay, pay me first. Like, the, the, the nickels that you're rubbing together, yeah, yeah, yeah. give that to him. I'm you like, know, I, I mean? only have nickels. Because it, it just got to a point like where like we're passionate about, you know, wrestling and, you know, um, contrary to what we are like on, you know, our characters and stuff, we're, we're nice people. So like yeah, yeah. if anyone's struggling, especially at that PC or anything, we're going to help. And yeah. I feel like people kind of figured that out at some point and kind of gave us a load of people to kind of help. And uh, as much as it's a nice compliment and everything, um, when it comes down to business, it wasn't good for business for us. Nah. You know, no, you don't want to be, you don't want to be seen as just in, in this world of entertainment, especially with us, you being a driven person, you don't want to be seen a lot of times, which is no problem, but eventually you don't get typecasted as the helping hand per person. Yeah, but that's what they're going to typecast mm -hmm. you to. Yeah. Especially exactly. when you were more for yourself. But what was, like, you don't have to say the direct moment, but, you know, a lot of entertainers and a lot of people in the world are scared on betting on themselves. They're scared to say, you know what, even if this situation or the platform, you know, I could get this, I can get that, but you know what, I, I want to I wanna leave this situation and I want to bet on myself. Was there a certain instance or something that made you guys say, you know what, it's time for us to go do our own thing because I don't feel like we're getting the opportunities that we need here. Um, so it was like... Sort of like from the way my mind was working with it was like, you know, the phrase like the writing's on the wall. Like, right, right, right. Like yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like gradually getting more and more profound. Like, yeah. like you'd see a few fucking letters and then you're like, ah, I can kind of, you know, figure it. And then next week there'll be more letters and it'd just be more and more to the point where you're like, it is clear as day. Like, yeah, it, it wasn't like one big thing, was it? And obviously, a lot of the time with and that's worse, by the way. Yeah. It's worse that it's not one big thing. Yeah, because right. like, yeah. like, then then you, you kind of like you know when you're with a girl and like you need to break up with her, but it's not that it's, she's not cheated on you or anything like that. It's just it's not working and it's taking gra it's gradually not working. Yep. You know, like I don't know how to phrase it. That but one thing turns into like three small things. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like, those three small things turn to yeah. like. Six big, small. Yeah. Things. A lot of people like they want to know like what individual was it who did this to you? It's like they've got the pitchforks it's, it's out. Nice. Let's can go and get them, and we're like, <laughs> I wish it's, it's never that simple. <laughs> no, I wish yeah. it was that simple yeah. because we probably could have fixed things or yeah. done something. But it yeah. was just multiple things, and yeah. some of these things maybe individually even come across. Like, well, that's it. You go, no, because it's not that one no, little it's thing. Not, it's not no. one little petty could, thing. If it's, it was, that could be solved in a conversation. Exactly. Yeah, but it was a, a number of things yeah. that when we finally took a step back, and again, the decision wasn't made overnight. It was made over months. For sure. And, but, as a, and talk about doing making that decision together. Yeah. Instead of like right. you wanting to do it and you wanted not to do it. Yeah. But you're like, oh, it kind of has to be like. I can answer that. I think basically JD, JD, was, JD was ready a lot earlier than I was. Yeah. <laughs> so the time the time when we applied for green cards, yeah. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Bye. Like, I was already done. But, like, you know, we, we both spoke about it and I was like, okay, look, you got to still give X, Y, and Z. We've got to give this time yeah. to see yeah, how this yeah. plays out. Let's be real. He goes, okay, let's give it time. But then. After so long, he keeps coming back to me like, have you given enough time? Yeah, I'm like, all right, fair enough. <laughs> right, Eventually yeah. it was like, no, we there we go. We've given them, not give them again, we've given it, yeah. the whole yeah. scenario. Because again, I don't want to come across like bitter with the company because we're just not. No, they no, they have their sure own not. business yeah. to do. They don't owe us anything. No, no, no It's no. just similarly, we don't owe them anything. <laughs> we have, true. we signed a contract. We agreed on the wage. Yeah. They said, perform this, we will pay you this. We said, okay, yeah. you pay us this, we will perform this. Both at parties have fulfilled our contractual duties yep. and just again business just wasn't right for us so we had to move on we saw all of these little things which you don't have to go into detail about but we, we saw where our personal stock was mm. we saw what the trajectory of our careers were should we stay and we yes. thought it got to this question of do we stay here scratch and claw and try and break through this barrier try and climb out of this rut yep. knowing yeah. that it's not promise that we can get through this knowing that there's so much red tape at the WWE to cut yeah like do we stay here and struggle or do we just sidestep go and have fun get back to what we enjoy doing oh, yeah. and then if we end up circling back amazing we did amazing. it and if we don't if we find something else that we like just as much 
then let's just stay there. <laughs> like, yeah, um, yeah. I, was, I was always told, like, uh, if you're a real star, you believe in, truly yeah. believe in, like, who you are, your confidence and your belief in your product, your abilities, whatever. Real stars are not afraid to lose their jobs or walk away. Of course, no, yeah. 100%. Because so they will, you'll, you, you know what your value is. To a yeah. similar point, we were actually talking about this um, with a couple of the boys this week, that so many people get put on posters now as, like, former WWE wrestler and how much... I, I'll just talk to myself. I hate, know, that. I, yeah, I hate that I, phrase. I, I, hate that, like, I don't yeah. mind promoters referencing the WWE. It's yeah, for sure. a huge global juggernaut, but that phrase only exists in the last couple of generations, and that's because mm -hmm. of how WWE at one point completely monopolized the industry. Yeah. That's why they say former WWE. Yep. But if you're an independent contractor who's a builder, and you build the new Walmart down the street, and then you go on to go and build a Chick-fil-A, they don't... Tell the, the person who's employing you, oh, he's former Walmart. He, you know, he built that but Walmart. No, he just yeah. built, he worked on this project <laughs> under a contract, and then he worked on this project. Yeah, yeah. If they need a reference, you might say, as seen in the Walmart building yeah, committee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you don't go yeah, down as yeah. the former this. Like, yeah. I did some work there, and now I do work here. I'm very proud to have worked for the WWE. I had a great time, for the most part, at the WWE. Mm. But I'm not defined as... Gotcha. former guy from yeah, here because my yeah, career is sure. not over it is once again on an upwards trajectory yeah that was we like, are independent wrestlers that was another thing was like so like i turned i turned 31 last week um and like <laughs> happy belated <brother. laughs> man but like <laughs> man still got the rest of you man but like shoot. i've been wrestling since i was 12 so i'm like, the oldest person in here damn <laughs> Um, tell, tell that to my hips, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> tell that to my twelve hips. year old, like, bro, man. That's eighteen year old like damage. Good you know Lord. what I mean? But like, it's oh, one so of those the UK, y'all UK kids is different. Oh, it's, yeah. You know what it is? It's just, it's just our parents can't be asked with us. So like, just go and wrestle. Just get out the house. Yeah. I don't want to see you. Like, you know what I mean? But like, um, it's one of them. Like, it got to a point where you just start looking at like, because I was like 28, 29 when you know this idea started happening. Right. And it got to a point where I was looking at an actual active uh, wrestling career. And that's like, realistically, 20, you know? Like, if, you, if you're lucky enough, maybe earlier you get picked up, but like 20. I got signed when I was 23. Uh, if you're good, if you're lucky, if you look after yourself, 45. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ideally. And then like, you can go a little bit longer than that, but like you're going to have to be quite selective with your dates and you have to really look after your body because if you've done yeah. a lot of dates, you know, all this stuff. So the actual like span of a career is really short when you, when you think about it. Wow, and it I was like getting closer to 30 and like I can't turn something round within, you know, a month, you know, half a year. It takes a few years to start building equity again. So I started thinking like if we leave, we start betting on ourselves and we really do bet on ourselves. It's not like we leave and then we're just like, well, it's come, you know, pay us. It's actually like we leave, we do these promos, we brand ourselves, we get the gritty teeth out there, we get the music, like we double down on absolutely everything. Right. And like then over the next like two, three, five years, that's when those contracts come in that are like do, you know, cover the short time of your career absolutely. because we've absolutely. built enough equity. Right. But where we were at the time, and again, it's nothing against, you know, WWE, their agenda was with other people. Yep. And it was only putting time on our careers without actually pushing our equity. I was saying, so, so it leads to, this leads to my next question. So with both of you guys are chipping on this as well. So with the way that the climate is in the industry, how do you guys, how do you guys stay together throughout all this? Because... You guys have to be in one with all your decisions a lot of times, especially staying together as a tag team mm. and knowing your guys' career and doing my research on you guys for all these years. You guys have always stuck together. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that dynamic of when it comes down to important decisions like this, but staying together throughout all this, going from making these collective decisions, going from WWE to TNA, and you guys sticking together throughout it all, staying loyal to each other. How does that dynamic come about? So uh, one of the good things is, and again, it's not just, like, we're a tag team, so it's even easier, but like, if you're a singles wrestler, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure Swerve, you've got your fellas, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. you bounce off people. Like, you're never so stubborn to the point where you're like, this is the only thing that I could think of. Like, if you've got ideas, like, I'm sure Swerve's like, come to you and go, like, what do you think of this? And what do you think yeah, of we that? do it with this all the time. You know a lot, I mean? a lot like, of different yeah. things, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's the same as us. It's like, we will never have, like, the complete idea but we'll bounce yep. off each other and we'll come together and figure out that what that idea is. Because there'll be some things that I wouldn't even, I'd, I've come with an idea, but then like, you know, Zach would 
you know, spin it around with how he perceives it. And then all of a sudden it's completely changed, but it's for the better. Do you know what I mean? So we right. always try and like bounce off that. And uh, so, yeah, to, to jump on that point, like both of us have had successful singles careers at a time. Do you know, we've, mm. we've both done quite a lot individually, but this is my, my own perspective. We have spoke about this before. I think whilst we're good to great singles wrestlers as a tag team, we are some of the, one of the yeah. top tag teams in the world. Like the, the time for being humble is isn't really now. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. You know, it is as one a of tag team, we look and we're that like being too humble. Don't get yeah, that. No, exactly. Yeah, like, sure. Where's that fine line for you? Do you see like, um, like humbleness or hum- too much humility? Where you're just too easy, easy so going I and like a vulnerable, or and, and, and especially like ego. Too and too much humility yeah, yeah. gets you uh, wearing a contact lens for six months. Oh, that you don't oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, too much humility gets Rip Fowler and Jagger Reed. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, like, no, I think I think realistically, it's like the the perform the performer and the human being are two different people. So if you're if you know, like I'm just going to say these things. If you know you're like you're shit hot at what you do, you know. Uh, so we can say we're shit hot at. Rest, I tag team wrestling for sure. You know, I mean, we know how to put it all together. We know how to get the crowd up at the right terms. We know how to bring them back down. We know how to get like, you know, we know how to get all these things going right because we've studied it for so long. And if I mean, if we weren't that good and we spent all these years doing it, like, fuck, we need to do something else. Do you know what I mean? But like, yeah. but at the same time, I'm still a decent human. Like backstage yeah. and talking to people, I am just James Dowell talking to everyone else, and I, I am very down to earth and like I don't let that cross over. It's also interesting because, like, all like there's been times because I've been in the same position, but there's been times I had to like kind of flex a little bit, yeah, more yeah, for and, sure, and, and yeah. bark a little bit, even at like certain people, like, like you know, what I mean, in management, it's like, all right, I see what you're doing and I recognize it now. Especially if you have your if you have the work to back it up, yeah, yeah. if you so, have the work to back it up. You kind of get a little bit yeah. more like, oh no, I'm gonna bark back a little bit mm-hmm. and understand like this is not how I'm gonna allow myself yeah. to be. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, it's not how I'm gonna allow myself. Like I see what you're doing, I recognize it now. No, like not yeah, even just a no. It's just like I'm not allowing that. And the thing is, know? as well, like saying no brings a level of respect. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, because like if you if you're just happy, you go lucky to just be there all the time. You gotta get walked over, man. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But like, yeah. But if you're like. It's, and it's, you know a, it's I mean? a juggernaut. It's a juggernaut yeah. of a freaking of a conglomeracy. What that what this is? Yeah, you know? and it's just one of those things. Like, it's it's it's, it's one thing being professional, and you still is you like it's not like saying no with being unprofessional. You can say no and be professional because yeah. it's not yeah. just saying no and then spitting your dummy out and going, "I'm not doing that." No, it's no. Here's why. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? And you yep. explain the case and everything like that. And, you know, even sometimes, like, you know, management don't even, like, they can't even, they're so focused on whatever's going on. They, sometimes you become collateral damage without them, like, manip- like yeah, yeah. maliciously thinking about it. Yes. But then if you bring it up, they go, oh, yeah, you watch, right? There's been so many times where we've had, like, verbiage from promos. And it's just, you know, they're just trying to get a promo out but the verbiage itself is so damaging yeah. to the point where we go, we can't do that verbiage because of X, Y, and Z. That's not saying we can't do the promo. Mm. Let's, let's come together. Let's figure this out where we get this deliverance over and it doesn't damage X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. And, right. you know, you bring that forward and all of a sudden people, um, they, you know, some people, you know, cause it means work. They go, Oh, fine. Yeah. Well, then I won't, oh, lose, yeah. I won't lose sleep over those people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll lose sleep over me agreeing to it. Yeah, and then all of a sudden I've gone. I shouldn't have let that happen. Yeah. Uh, to come back to that point as well, we were talking about um, having the confidence in own abilities and stuff, and where does that come from? Kind of two quick things on that. Like one, I don't, I don't really want to watch any wrestler who doesn't have confidence because oh, so, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, all, yeah, all of our yeah, talent need confidence, and everyone needs to. I hate the phrase where everyone needs to like know your value. I know that gets thrown around quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong; like some people have too much confidence. Some people are wrong. But I'd still rather that than, <laughs> than them not have any yeah, confidence because this is like so much of pro wrestling is about confidence, about how you hold yourself, about how you carry yourself. But then on top of that, uh, again, we we are businessmen. We do think every move and every decision through. This right. wasn't just a, we think that we are this, therefore let's go and take a gamble. This yeah. was a, we know we are this yeah. because yeah. I've been told it by Fit Finley, 
William Regal now being told it by Lance Storm. Like I'm being told it by people whose opinions you can take to the bank. Yeah. So now I can go with confidence. I know we are good enough to be in this spot. Yeah, Let's go and so find yeah. someone who will put us Absolutely. in that spot. And that's the that's the thing. That's the thing that, you know, I think what we always say on this podcast, which I think a lot of people lack, and me and me and Swerve talk about this personally, is that you have to have a which people a lot of people don't have is a great a great, great ability to have self awareness. Yes. Yeah. And I oh, believe yeah. that a lot of people don't in this industry alone, not only music, wrestling, whatever you want to say, yeah, in man. the world in general, a lot of people don't know what that is. They kind of over bet their chips or yeah. it's like, a, it's like, it's literally like a game in the casino. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. know when to put your chips in mm-hmm. and then when to stay or when to hit, you know what I mean? That's how, that's how it goes. But you guys just hearing and hearing your guys energy, you guys seem a lot happier. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, man, for sure. Cause it's, it's one of those things. It was like what Zach was saying before about red tape. Like there's no red tape for us now. Like if we have an idea, and like if it's a promo or if it's like a, a which I love the style design. of promos you've been doing. Yeah, I've been yeah. So what was that was one of the things was like we were getting ready to leave and obviously when you leave you, you do the you do the post promo you know what yeah. I mean like get out of jail or whatever, um and you know each to their own like there was just a lot of like heavy edited promos where people actually weren't doing promos they were just doing like mm-hmm. uh, cinematic things and they're great you feel like they are they're great but I don't think it put over the person. I think you just put over the quality of the, the, the editor. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and like, and, and like, <laughs> this is great. Who's yeah. the guy doing this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not, no, exactly. Yeah, not that, that everyone it. does, but people can hide behind that. Exactly. We wanted yeah. to show like, pull, no, pull that take. back and be like, well, we can't hide. So, so we did like, one yeah. take. Like, we can't one hide. take, walk and talk, no cuts. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Which, which is why I, that's what I caught too. I was like, oh man, these guys are boom here in it. Yeah, and they're relying on the talent to show, to shine through the screen. Yeah. But you're right though. It's, right. it's one of them and, and, and then again like you start like cornering your own like style and all of a sudden when we're doing these promos we just need to have a professional vi- uh you know videographer like we have a guy harry it's awesome um but we tell him and he's so easy with it with like no editing you know just get like good lighting you know for us we mm-hmm. walk and talk that's it and it's just simple as that for him but that we're now making that our thing where it's not getting spliced up and it's not getting like yeah. you know whatever it's just us delivering a promo but like we're walking the fine line sometimes some of the lines we say are like oh i don't know if you should say that but like, you, you know what i mean well, that's what you want though well, who's censoring you nobody hey, no one no yeah. one yeah say for sure. and also just to add to that actually we are grizzled young veterans what comes with that is um is a chip on the shoulder it yeah. is bitterness yeah jack is is doing all right i'm loving my life but yeah. i don't want to see gibson get move out of a different company and then just be super humble. Like it, no, we, we still no, have a character no. to push yeah. and an agenda to push. Exactly. And um, again, pro wrestling's pro wrestling, isn't it? You can't liken it to anything else because it stands alone as its own art form. So yep. some people sometimes get the back up about these things. Ultimately, I like to remind fans, like just, just sit back and just enjoy it and let's just see where this goes. Yeah. But there's yeah. sometimes I'm like, what, like I, I think he feels this way. I'm like, what if I do? Yeah. I like to leave yeah, the, you're the your audience. audience. Yeah. Like, like, like so even like uh, like I'll be doing interviews and I'll I won't say anything that's like necessarily blatantly this yeah, yeah. or like or I'll just keep it kind of medium yeah I'm, I'm not this I'm not that I'm just I'm like oh, okay this is and then like people will be like oh well, he's hiding behind this he's saying this because of this this that I'm like let that narrative run just Let's let see it, where yeah, we go yeah, with yeah, it yeah, yeah. For sure yeah so you kind of it's kind of cool to let people's just imagination take. Yeah. Go ahead. Run with oh it. yeah, for See, sure. Yeah. yeah. Like so I, that, and I think it leaves a lot of nuance for you guys. Just yeah. like, okay, what if it is? What what if it is what I meant? What if that is Jack? What if it's not Zach? You know, like what? Yeah. You know, let them run with that and, and that, like yeah. take that piece. You know that, and that and fans want to have fun with that too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's great. Again, like when we when we first got out, um, one thing that we definitely didn't want to do, we wanted to go to get back to the GYV and do that thing that people, yeah. and it's not just us. You know, like our entire socials. That's what we were getting the whole time that we were doing the schism stuff. We were no getting bombarded. No, no one, one wanted about, us to do know? that. All of the fans mm-hmm. who liked us wanted us to be the GYV. Yes. We just get it every single day without mm-hmm. fail. When are you going to do this again? When are you going to do that? But we didn't want to go back to what we were doing because we didn't want to take a step How do you back. Push it forward? So we went back to the names and back to the gimmick and back to the style that we like. But we have still tried to push it into a different direction, yeah, even yeah, as yeah. simple as like the catchphrases have evolved, but we've let them ag- evolve organically. We yeah, didn't yeah. try to push a catchphrase down anyone's throat. Yeah. We just said things and then we would listen. And if people picked up on one thing and liked it, 
we lean into that a little bit more. Absolutely. And that's, yeah. the, again, the beauty of not having that red tape to cut. Yeah. When it comes back to, again, our, our own personal stock and making our own decisions for our own stock, um, we can try. We can think of something on Wednesday, try it on Sunday, uh, Saturday, sorry, and if it's shit, we'll just drop it on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. And if it's good, we'll run with it. It, it just happened at that moment. Yeah. Like, and now it's like, oh. And no one's yeah, in that way. Even right. down to the TNA um the TNA tapings that we've just done this week. Yes. I won't give any spoilers or anything, but we had a thing where we were going to be walking out and getting involved with someone who's cutting a promo and we didn't have the microphone. We were just getting involved, blah, 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 go into the next thing. And this was like 10, 15 minutes before we went out. I go up to the guy, ask him, actually, is it okay if you give me the mic? And I walk and talk to the ring. I think it adds to the seg. I think it adds to us. We can get our stuff over more. For sure. There was no, no one in the way, no one trying to, no yeah. agendas, no. no red tape to cut. They were just like, do you think that's okay? Yeah, let's go for it. Give me the microphone. Yeah, yeah <laughs> give me the microphone. We got back. You're like, that was great. The crowd loved it. I go, awesome. <laughs> I think as well, like, I think sometimes people forget, like, we all have the same goal. Yeah. I think anyway, most people have the same goal where it's right. We want to do what's best for the show and best for the product. You know, and we all have different opinions, but like, ultimately we all have that. So like, once you trust someone, like, for example, TNA, I trust in me and Zach to push forward. You know, they're just letting us pretty much do what we want, you know, because they're just going, yeah, we trust you. We've watched you. We know you guys are good. So if you think that's best, do it, you know? That's the fun part. Uh, like, what was the fun, what was the moment when, like, what was y'all, like, y'all proud moment? It's like, as soon as y'all got, uh, came back to the Indies and got to TNA, what would you say was your proud moments? So one of my proudest moments was uh, before all that, it was actually, like, the, the first promo we put out, like, that's pretty much, like, we, we now officially bet ourselves like, yeah, like people, you know, we, we started doing a little bit of a hype for it and stuff beforehand. I'm like, maybe like we'll get, you know, you get like a good gauge on like, if this is the right call yeah. with the first promo and with the first promo being so authentic and it's just a straight promo, no like heavy editing and stuff. That was pretty much a good, you know, uh point to kind of like see where we where we stand in the grand scheme of things. And within uh, six hours, I think it was, I was posting it. We were trending in America. Yeah. Just on our own. Like, as in, like, Grizzly yes. Veterans was trending in America. There we go. And, and that was one where I was like, yep, yep, did the right thing. We were right. Yeah, back yeah. to that. Like, it's so good to feel that validation. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, Cause you know, like, like I knew so it. many, so many like nights where like I've gone to bed like after doing TV or whatever. And I like, <laughs> you, just, you just know it's not right. You know what I mean? You just go, like, I think whatever we're doing for all the efforts involved, it's just not right. Uh, and you just can't put your finger on it, but you know, you, you just kind of know like the thing we were doing before this all changed. If you just gave that time, it would have worked. Back to that like personal stock thing, you know, it's like so we time. Were, it's just giving that effort, effort. Yeah. Right. It's like for me, it's, 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 it's one thing is time, but there's, it needs to be like joint effort on these things, yep. you know, like, and that's what kind of becomes the frustratingness. Like time is like you can waste time on a lot of shit. Yeah, man. You've seen, which we've seen it. <laughs> yeah, man. But it's it's about the effort. Yeah, the effort. How much effort is, is like? How are you going to spend on this? On on me? On that? On that? Or why is there so much effort spent on that, but not here? And yes. Here. Here. So yeah, that, this is the ones that know what they're doing. This is the ones that's like groomed for this. Yeah. But you're spending effort on that. Hasn't figured oh, it man. out. Hasn't oh. groomed them. Like, Tell me about that. <laughs> that's what I was like, oh, uh, like. There is, um, yeah. there is a few people that uh, ended up wrestling on like level up or whatever. Um, and it was, it was pretty much because they just didn't know how to wrestle. And at the time, a certain someone was running wild around NXT. Um, and like firing everyone and all that. And uh, he really liked someone who isn't even there now. You know, he's not even there anymore. But um, he really liked the look of them. And uh, he wanted to see him on level up that night. The fella didn't know. I'm blessing him. And it's not against him because he's just so new. Yeah. And he was such a cool guy. Mm -hmm. And I think he's still wrestling. And if he is, I hope he just cracks on and he ends up going back there and he makes a lot it's of money. It's never personal. It's, it's just, never personal. It's, no. it's like professional. Yeah. But like the fella didn't know uh, the basic structure of a match. He didn't know what a back suplex was. And I'm wrestling him that night on level up. And they, they put me with him because I know I can guide people through matches. So I get them ready and whatever else. And we do the match in the night, right? And the match is fine. 
you, if you watch him, you know he's very doesn't know what's next. You know what I mean? But as long as he's coming to me, I'm picking him back where he's, you know he left off. And I remember like coming backstage and uh, they were all around him, giving him like, "Oh, you could do this, or maybe do that." Not like not negative, but they were like really enthusiastically like putting effort, like you were saying before, like yeah, all this time. attention and effort and time into him. And the you know I'm just getting a tape off and the turn round and I lock eyes with the fellow. I just don't really want to say his name anymore. Like yeah. he's been shunned, he's been fired, like whatever all this shit, right. And uh, he turns around and he goes, "Goes like hell of a hand, kid." And I'm like, oh, fuck you. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I've spent like at that time, I've spent yeah. 16 years of my life, moved, yes. my, you know, moved across the world, closed the business, said goodbye to my mom and dad, you know, said goodbye to my brother, family, friends, everything like that. For that, do you know what I mean? Like that, that, that yes. by the way, that was my. That, that was, was the that, moment. That was me going. I'm done. It's yeah. time to go. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> hey, we, hey, sh- out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> we're packing up. That was. When, I get it. That was yeah. when I was like you you know no it's just business but like you clearly don't see whatever yeah no you know what i mean no. i can't grow any taller do you know what i mean yeah. i'm a 510 guy for life <sighs> yeah. so i can't get taller um and i can't get 10 years younger yeah but and like, if that if they're the only criteria you're basing business on then i'm in the wrong place <laughs> exactly yeah. so so i got you brother so yeah. now that you guys have you know have that freedom you have that freedom to creatively you know to get to get it get basically as we say get your shit off and do things that you guys want to do now when you guys have these conversations what are your career goals into the future now because now you guys have that freedom you guys have that standpoint to say okay now we want to do things our way we want to bet on ourselves what are some things now in the career goals that you want to accomplish in the future now like do you have any yeah honestly it's a uh, it's just to keep on going up to keep on progressing absolutely so to, to look where we are it's more um a series of shorter term goals that we can go for and keep on going up mm-hmm. i think ultimately just like anyone else in life we want the security of of money money provides security absolutely um, you want to get as much as you can while you can get it exactly like, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's that's, nature, brother. <laughs> not that that's necessarily Nothing wrestling related but <laughs> we have families we have bills to pay just absolutely. like everyone else absolutely so ultimately money is always going to be a factor absolutely um but professionally it's just about maintaining that that level of freedom where we can still progress uh, we've spoke about this quite recently that um our act has actually got better in the last few months with that freedom that we've been afforded and you guys yeah. are killing it bro we've right? actually found you guys these, are killing it. these little things that we actually pr- have previously thought we're missing and not being able to put our finger on and we're actually now looking back at it say the we definitely noticed it following the best of three series with the abc at yes. tna yes. the third match had finished we got backstage everyone was very happy with it the office were very happy with it we got to look at it and be like, oh, there it is. There's the, there's some of the missing ingredients. Have we just figured that out? We didn't yeah. even fully know where it came from, right. but it comes from freedom and talking. Um, so ultimately, yeah, it's about securing uh, monetarily a future for us and being able to continue to grow in the team and just have fun, get out to get out to Japan because we've still actually never done Japan. Yeah, Japan's no, no, one. No. We had a, at I'm one done. point, I had an opportunity to go to Japan or to go to China. Um, and everyone, every man and the dog was going to Japan. So yeah. we were like, ah, let's just do something a bit different. Gotcha. So we went to China, had a lot of fun, not necessarily <laughs> a lot of great wrestling. You yeah. want to know, know the great, I'm sorry, but no, you, you, you want to know the one, one quick point. You want to know the great thing about like feeling underestimated or feel like you're not getting your value, especially when you're kind of forced to sit back, is that you see the landscape of how everything's working. Yeah, man. And, oh, you, yeah. and while everybody else is at the top or where they're at, they're kind of just focusing on their thing, they don't. They're not taking away of the landscape of how everything's working, yeah. of how you guys can sit back and say, "Hmm, this is how the industry is moving. This is what this person is doing. This is what that person is doing. This is what this company is doing. This is what that person is doing." Now you can sit back, like we say, like like a sniper, and kind of just lay, watch, everybody didn't watch how moves. everybody's moving, how everything's mm-hmm. moving. So that's why you guys have. You know, not only better yourself, but now you guys are successful because you saw how everything was going. Yeah, you saw how the industry was going and how you guys can make an impact. You know, you. Uh, <laughs> once, once you guys once you guys leave and say, okay, now this is what we want to do when we leave. This is our plans, how we move, and that's how you guys have been excelling because you guys took the time to see the landscape. Sometimes a lot of people don't do that; they're just moving. Yeah, and they're you know, like yeah. they say, you could be you're on a like, treadmill, kind of like floating. Do you know yeah, what I mean? you're on like, a treadmill, yeah, you're just running, yeah. but you're not going anywhere. Yeah. You know? What also kind of helps is like having been somewhat burned again, not trying to you know blame anyone for it, but having been somewhat burned in what we wanted to achieve. We're also not 
super eager to jump straight into potentially being burned again. Right. So yeah. we're still operating independently right now, right. even with Which our work that we're doing at TNA. We still have, yeah, uh, we're still non-exclusive. We still have the freedom to do what we want. So that next deal, whether it be TNA, because we're still we love working at TNA. I can't stress that enough. Yeah. The company is great. Cool place, Backstage right. is great. Yes. Um, it's just because we want to make sure that it's one hundred percent. The next contract for however long that is is the right one. Yeah. For that time period. So whether it is TNA, AEW, New Japan, whatever it is next, it's going to be the right thing for us yeah, going definitely. forward. Personally, from your view, what do you think, what's missing in the game right now? What's missing in the industry? Do you feel? Oh, man. So um, for me. Uh, and as an individual, like yeah. not a so, co- yeah. collective. <laughs> um, for me, it's, um, I don't know, like I feel as though, as good as social media is, sometimes the mystique or like, you know, like- Praise people, God. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I, I just get to a point where like, I, there, was, there was some of the, some of the you know, previous wrestlers names, like for example, The Rock or whoever, right? Even The Rock has like a lore about him online. Like he only puts out the same sort of stuff. He never puts out too much personal. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of people just put too much out there or, um, you know, conversate with fans too much, I think personally, uh, to the point where they're not stars. And then then you're opening the floodgates for like criticism or, um, I don't know. I just feel like there's, there's, there's certain points where, you know, you don't see, um, again, this is a bit of an extreme one, but you don't see people like um, Leonardo DiCaprio on Twitter talking back and forth with fans. Nope. Do you know what I mean? You'll never see it. But he's never like, seen it, like like the week of the Oscars, you're not necessarily seeing what how they're getting dressed. Yeah, you, they you just know show what I mean? up. Yeah, they the just Oscars show up. Yeah, their, and like you, I you feel know. as though, and like don't get me wrong, there is certain times where people will like tweet us and say happy, like can you wish us happy birthday and stuff, and I'll do that. Yeah, for sure. But like I don't tweet or I don't talk about my personal life. Um, I, I keep that personal. You know yeah. what I mean? Because realistically, what you want to see online is James Drake, one half of the Grizzly Veterans. So I'm going to promote that. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes people, you know, just forget what social media is and what it can be for a business person. Sure. Should I'm be sorry, a, I don't, I don't want to see my biggest star look up to doing TikTok dances. I said that. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I really yeah. don't. Yeah. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. want to see that. Yeah, and I mean, it's like- I'm just going just gonna to delete my schedule post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. You know, I just think it's like- <laughs> Like I, uh, you know, like I'm a, uh, I'm a big Travis Scott fan. I don't want to see him eating breakfast cereal. Yeah, like, yeah, you know I, what I don't mean? want to see. Like, like, yeah. come on, dog. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and like, I, I just feel like sometimes like there's that mystique missing. Um, and then the other thing I think, it's not everywhere, but as a whole, like general thing. Yeah. Especially with younger talent these days, uh, no pun intended, but there's no grit grizzled vibe by them. Like you got to understand, like it's race wrestling, it's fighting. Like it does hurt, like, but sometimes we make it look too nice, and sometimes it 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 becomes so, you know, less of a um, conflict and more of a um, sequence. And there is times for that stuff, mm. but like when the when it's just overweighed with so much of that, to the point where Moxley is unique. Yeah, you know, what yes. I mean? where like you go Absolutely. back twenty years ago, and there was everyone was a Moxley. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then there was like one Essie Rios. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, or there was mm-hmm. one Rey Mysterio. Yeah. Talk about it. I, Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's to the, like for me, I, I like us. I, I've been thinking, saying the same thing for a while now. Like, like the same thing. Uh, for me, I feel like fans request things out of certain performers and they yeah. expect things. It's like criteria has got to yeah. fit yeah, in order yeah. to be quality, good matches. Right. Because. Like, or to be quality good wrestlers, like you, you gotta match this criteria. I'm like, no, like, cause my favorite wrestler didn't fit any of these. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've said this for a long time, actually. Yeah. Like those guys that like to write their reviews and stuff online. Yeah. Not, not all of them, cause again, I don't want to try and come across yeah. like that. Like I'm just shoehorning everyone to the same thing. But yeah. a lot of these guys that write their little reviews and fair play, you can do whatever you want to do, but. I know too many of them have wrote that review, even if it's just in the back of the head subconsciously. They've already wrote the review before they've watched the fucking match. Yeah. Because yeah. they're basing their reviews on what they deem to be 
these this box ticking lists. Yeah. talking about that. Yeah, and yeah. like, yeah. so, and it's almost like that's the cool thing to agree with right. online. So they will watch some technical match. And if you watch them, if we watch them, they're watching the match, we'll all sit and we'll watch them on the front row. Yeah. They're sat on their hands, not reacting, but taking the, taking the notes. Yes. And then yeah. they go, five stars, that was my favorite. And I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> I watched you on the yeah, night man. lose your shit when someone went through a table yeah. in the garbage match that you gave one star. Yeah. Just stop lying <laughs> to yourself and to everyone else. Please clip this, brother. I just watched you. <laughs> admit <laughs> that you just like chaos like the rest of us. Yeah, yeah I'm like, we all like, we all want, like, we want to see car crashes. We're all amused yeah, by man. it. Don't take it away. Cause like, like, no, yeah. like, you know, the like, I, there's an enjoyment to that. There's yeah. an enjoyment to all different aspects of it. They don't all have to have the same things in order to ha get enjoyment and feel from it. Yeah, I don't yeah, think definitely. wrestling's as much of a variety show as it should be anymore. I think because too yeah, many people yeah, have yeah. been that's, that's to yeah, too it. many people yeah, have been told great. what the five star match is right now. Yep. And then the promoters aren't as good as assuring people that if they don't aim for that five star match, their spot's still safe. So everyone sure. aims for the same match <laughs> and then yeah. everyone's doing the same thing yeah. and the crowd are marking it in the same way and comparing them to each other yeah. and I, th I think that that like, comes that comes to the point though it's like we we say this on the podcast all the time if you watch a movie or you listen to an album sometimes you watch it the first time and then you might have to go back to it yeah you know oh, what yeah, i mean man, a yeah, week later sure. or a month later you know check it out and then you might have a better analysis yeah, yeah. of what you're saying instead of just well, you know, like you said, writing down notes and then the match just, oh man, this is like what? Like, yeah. and I, yeah. I also don't want, I don't also don't want uh, like these uh, young guys being or like anybody in any like young ten years into the game, whatever, to be discouraged. The fact, like you know, like shout out my man Will Osprey, freaking nature. Oh, like, one yeah. of a kind, man. One like, of a kind, yeah. best in the world of what he best does. Best in this generation. Don't think that you have to wrestle to that level yeah. to be considered great. Yeah, so or, and also or, or don't or try best. and do Osprey stuff do and then walk backstage and shake hands with Osprey. Like, if he's on the <laughs> <Yeah>. show, <laughs> if he's on the show, don't do his oh fucking moves because <laughs> not only yeah. is he gonna do them, not only is he known for them, yeah. but he's also gonna do them better than you anyway. Yeah, yeah I'm like, man. I figured that out a long time ago. I'm like, like, because before Osprey, it was like Ricochet was the standard of high yeah. flying for right, me yeah, in my yeah, for era. Sure. Yeah. So I'm like, why am I trying to run this race trying to keep up with that? Like when yeah. he's going to do it better anyway. I'm back to the variety easy show. As well. Yeah, you know he does I mean? it easy. Yeah. I'm working my ass off. Uh, sure, still man. like this close to like <laughs> paralyzing back, myself. Back to, to the to back to the variety show. Like yeah, yeah. does Brian Danielson look at Will Osprey and then go, ah, I need to get out there and do more of this stuff or this no, stuff. Like no, no he's, yeah. he, he knows space. what he does and he, yeah. he does what he does the best. He's the and best in the world at what he does. Yeah. Osprey's the best in the world at what he does. Yes. John Moxley is the best in the world at what he does. And that's the everyone that's else the needs fun. to yeah. They need yeah, to carve yeah, out their own niche instead of yeah. just trying to copy like, the yeah, next guy. Yeah, because like realistically, like when you when you everyone's got their own style, and again, it doesn't have to be so profound, but everyone's got their own thing. Like Moxley, uh, I always say Zack Saber because Zack Saber has a certain style. Yeah, and, do you know what I mean? Psh, good lord. You know, Will's another one. Pete Dunn's another one. Like all these like, people, and then like, throw in their Gresham too. Gresham, yeah, Gresham's got yeah, man, like, which is in the same well, I, style, I, but like that's a still. Do like you think you've got your own style? Yeah. Like, I, I can imagine well, there's gonna you. be a load of new people coming up that are gonna start yeah. doing like the roll through into a suplex and stuff right. like that. I've yeah. seen people copying it. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? I, 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 I was about I, to I, say, I, brother, this already happened. And I'm like, hey, to me, that like I respect that and I appreciate that because it's like, okay, cool. Not everybody's like. There's something they're trying to follow my style, yeah. which is awesome. I think that's cool because I want to see what you do with it now. Yeah. I'm really waiting for the next. So like, I elevation always like to it. I always like seeing the clashes of styles. Yes, I think like, you know, like if I watched, and again, it was like a crazy time, crazy time to do. 2016, it was Ricochet and Will doing and the boom, you know boom, the new pose. Japan stuff, right? Unbelievable, you know, groundbreaking. Um, but like, if you ask me, would I rather see? And it's not again nothing against Ricochet um, or Will, but would I prefer to see Ricochet and Will at say All In, right, mm -hmm. for the main event, or would I prefer to see Ricochet? Uh, sorry, Will and Moxley, or Will yep. uh, and D uh, Danielson, or you know Will and yourself, like because they are actual clashes of styles. Yes, that's what I want to see. I want to see how the styles clash. Exactly. You know, like if it's if it's two styles of the same, after five minutes it becomes, in my opinion it becomes quite cute because it's like, Oh, you mm. do this thing. And now I do this thing mm -hmm. where like you want to see how they, they react to each other and how like they, the styles genuinely do clash. Yeah. I, I feel as though that's like the best. Like you look at, uh, 
one of my favorite matches ever is Kurt and Sean WrestleMania 21. Um, the styles <laughs> clash. Clash. You know what I mean? But Major. they come together. That was and the it's psychology amazing. of it too. You know what I mean? The psychology was the clashing. That's, I, yeah. I feel sometimes that's kind of wasted these days or yep. lost, you know? And I, 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 I do think when they do come together like that, like, for example, they are very technical wrestlers, but when Sabre and um, Danielson had that match last year, that they are like technical wrestlers, but at the same time, they're very different. Yeah. Like Danielson will grab your hands and kick your teeth in. Yep. Do you know what I mean? And like, yeah. he's very brutal with like a lot of his things, but Zach is very pretty with his British wrestling. Yep. But they came together and even though they are similar, those styles did clash. Yes. You know what I mean? It's, it's, um, it's same for you, it. you and Hangman. Yeah. Like, yeah. Stars clash. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it not only stars clash, but in that instance, the, the characters and the storyline, the, the characters clashed. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like the actual characters, the personas clashed, the styles clashed. And then all of a sudden you had this pr uh, program that was just firing on all cylinders. No, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, cause then you could see how each person reacted to each other because they're so different. Um, we'll talk, yeah, you brought it up earlier, but it's, it's similar to like beyond wrestling. Um, if Batman's, uh, I, you know, villain was an evil Batman, it, it's okay for a beat, but it's not, yeah. if he was the main villain for like 40 years, you'd get bored of it. Very, you uh, want, you well, want the absolute it, opposite. It's you like want the Joker. It, it's flash and reverse flash. He runs faster. He's going to run faster. He's going to run faster. Now we're just both running. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you want to yeah. see the absolute, you want to see the thing yeah. that contradicts the other yeah. one. So Batman doesn't kill, you know, uh, yep. X, Y, and Z, all these things. But then you've got the Joker on the other side who is the absolute opposite to Batman. And then in every they, way. Yeah, exactly. And that's how you see them come together and create something that's fucking amazing. And I feel like that goes through wrestling as well. You want to have similar things because at the end of the day, like wrestling is entertainment, it's TV. So what's different between that and a movie and a TV series? You know what I mean? Someone's choosing to just watch it. Someone's choosing. And also this fan base has to pick and choose when to use those analogies. Because some of y'all like really move the goalposts on those. Like, oh, oh, oh man, you're uh, telling me like, about that, yeah. The, yeah, y'all really <laughs> move the goalposts. I'm like, well, when I'm watching Breaking Bad and like uh, then watching Billions and, you know, these shows, they do recaps, they do this, they do this. I'm like, yeah, but they also don't stop. <laughs> they also yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Do, do, would you watch freaking billions for fifty-two weeks straight? No, 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 no you wouldn't. No. So they have the, the grace period to like kind of timeline jump and do these things. We'll Wrestling way. can't. Um, I think they, they well they do stop, don't they? Uh, Simpsons stops right, or is it is it constant? Because like Simpsons is stop. Simpsons keeps going, don't they? Uh, there's like seasons. So no, they, they still do seasons. seasons. Yeah. But they just have a lot of them. They never do recaps. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's just a constant thing every week. Because right. it's like it's a weekly thing. And like, how do you, like, how do you, how like, do you even tackle Saturday like, Night Live has stop, has seasons. They stop. Yeah, like because <laughs> you, you need like it's the hardest thing to do. Is like yeah, wrestling not is only like do the like only a program. Thing. Yeah, and then like you you finish the program. Like what it, you know if it was you and Hangman you finished the program. Yeah, the program chapters finished right all this and you go okay move on to the next thing and then move on to the next thing for 15 years constantly you're moving it's just on. never stopping it never stops it right? never stops so yeah, it's like, like, you talk about fans moving goalposts so like i i'm still weirdly if not I, this might contradict myself in a moment anyway but i'm still of the opinion that like fans are definitely allowed their opinions i, I still want sure. to hear them and I, I never want to try and silence any fans i know there's certain wrestlers who are like don't ever listen and they'll tell all the rest yeah, of them, don't yeah. ever listen to fans like what terrible advice to give people like that's your audience <laughs> yeah, listen like, to them yeah they're not always right but well, you still got to listen to them because they're entitled to be wrong. Like they owe us nothing. We owe them nothing. Or don't like, boo. Yeah. Like they're still allowed their own opinions and stuff. But the one thing that will occasionally wind me up is the whole goalpost moving. <laughs> it's yeah, when like man. they'll tell you one thing and they'll say it. And then as soon as you enter that world or that argument, they just move goalposts yeah, on people. I'm they like, make certain requests for what they want to see. I'm but like, if it but, doesn't fit their agenda on their favorite that they support, and they'll just bend yeah, it backwards. Like, well, wait a to, minute. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Like, hold yeah. on. Wait. But uh, uh, uh. honestly, sometimes I actually wish our fans were were more um, more brutal. <laughs> I think some of our fans Ooh. can be. I know, but I think Ooh. Ooh. in a different way. That's that's a slippery in a different slope. way. Yeah, a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times, that's a, that's a lot of times, it's a very slippery slope. It can be, yeah. I think like of like giving what they want and hearing them, rather than giving them what they don't know. This what they want is like no, no. This is gonna. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. No, we don't like this. We don't like this. And then like by week three, like 
Uh, actually, this is actually pretty oh, bad. Man. So if we like, you know. Oh yeah, in those. So like, like I say, it's very it's not as all yeah. of it's a slippery slope in me. To it's, my, it's opinion. very difficult to put into words. To be honest, what I was trying to th- trying sure. to get across yeah. there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't mean it in that sense, but I do mean it in the sense of like, um, they'll make these like ridiculous demands, whether it's like storylines, yeah. this person getting pushed, that person getting pushed. I don't want to. I don't want to hear them complain about that. True. in such a public forum because that can actually hurt our industry like i think it's yes. harder than ever for like some kids for example to get into wrestling because yeah. they might see it on tv be like whoa what the first time they see it what the, what the hell is this i need to get involved this looks crazy they google it they jump on youtube and all the comments are this sucks this sucks i, I, I won't bother well, 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 them i won't bother them yeah i don't like that side of the i don't like those fan. Yeah. i don't like that side of the fan base I, um, yeah oh man um I, what would you say what you're looking forward to right now? What is like the upcoming things that you are like, I'm excited about this. We're building to this. Like, what do you think? Like you guys, like, you know, Zach, I'll ask you like, what we, what, for right now, where you guys are at and where you see yourselves going, especially with the schedule you got yeah. coming up. What are, what is like the goal you're pushing forward to now? It's a bit of a non-answer that I'm about to give, to be honest. So I do apologize for that, but <laughs> um, I'm very much enjoying just being in it, just being in the moment and just yeah. doing like, just enjoying what it is rather sure. than looking straight forward to the future. That comes with everything that's going on in my life right now. Yeah. My daughter's four months old. I'm Ooh. trying not to wish it away. It I'm trying to enjoy every single day. Take me back, man. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I got I to gotta find a schedule to text mine. I'm like, are you free now? <laughs> so I'm trying to enjoy every single moment of that and we were really missing being in the thick of it and uh, yeah. we went from a very relaxed safe schedule with nxt and just because of again because of multiple things it just wasn't the right fit for us Mm -hmm. but now that we're back in the thick of it i love the chaos of being like right where are we in three days oh we're in a we're in london oh okay and then where are we the day after that we're in barcelona where are we the day after that we're back in the states but we're going to new orleans i love that chaos and i like being out there and we really miss that that to work you kind of have to have your mind focus on the now on the now if you go too far (laughs) you're like wait my my mind is in new orleans no we we still got to get london yeah we We still got to manchester first you know and it'll throw you off so i understand that man um real quick i just wanted to um do a little, dedic- you know, shout out like the death of Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball Z, just passed this week. You know, by the time y'all are watching this, um, and uh, Virgil, yeah, uh, man, yeah, yeah. Rest, rest, rest in last, peace, rest in peace, yeah, Virgil. Man. Those are like, um, you know, uh, very influential, like both very influential in their own ways, different different sides of entertainment. You know, yeah. like as you can see, like y'all can't see it from here, but on the other side of the wall, I got some Dragon Ball Z f- um, figures and. Um, what a career, man! Art, like, like what man, a, like, like universal though. Like he's created a universe legend. that's like from Eastern huge. philosophies, and like there's a lot of biblical stuff in it. There's a lot of like, uh, just a, a lot of like amazing, like just old tales that were put into a comic book for kids to just like, I like it was inspiring. It was like that's this is truly inspired like a generation. Yeah, oh no, yeah. do you not think it's crazy how like something like Dragon Ball and like Dragon Ball Z, um, that's going to outlive us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's sure. crazy. That's going to sure. outlive us. Like the way it is and the juggernaut it is now. Yes. It's not stopping anytime soon, man. No like, way. It's going to outlive us. It's going to go on for generations. That's crazy. Like, for stuff like, for me, that, that's that's crazy. Like video games wise, like yeah. they're still making supers episodes. They yeah. still make movies. They still make the straight to DVD. Some, some, go, some go to theaters. Some go to straight to DVD or like a stream of services. But there's still much lore they're adding onto it. Mm. And that's like really awesome to see. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's and that's like, like from yeah. someone's creation. No, yeah. that's crazy. That stuff that, that blows my head. Like that's amazing. Like yeah. it's the same as like Pokemon. Like once upon a time, it was a nothing. It wasn't a thing. Yeah. And then someone went, I got an idea. Yep. And they just like, boom, 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 boom. Billions. And it's just funny how us as people connect with, connected with those stories. Yeah. Like yeah, with, yeah. The, with the, with those, uh, you know, couldn't, contextually fictional characters but we connect with them as people and we see you know and we kind of grow up with them because we're young you know what yeah. i mean and then as these characters evolve we start evolving as people yep. so we have a direct connection to yeah. a lot of these you know characters that we see ourselves in 
you know, and they kind of give up, they give us belief in life and stuff like that, especially when you say, well, I could tap in. This is what I, what inspired me, you know, watching this show, watching Dragon Ball Z, watching Pokemon. You wouldn't think about it, but you're subconscious when you're young and you're looking, you're like, well, damn. And that's why pro wrestlers should stay off social media. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because, because like, that's the same thing though. There's kids growing up and they're looking at people and like, you know, they'll look at people like who are really good at, you know, and they will, they, I don't think some people realize like, cause it just gradually happens. Like they'll be on the Indies and all of a sudden they're doing like a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday. <laughs> I know every day of the week is a TV show of wrestling, but like they'll be on TV like that out of nowhere. And I don't think people realize the gravity that they have like of them being a role model. You know what I mean? Like, like the, well, the thing is, I'm not trying to interrupt your point. I think the thing is, if you look at the landscape of the industry now, whether it's movies, music, everything's going direct to consumer now. So it, a lot of the entertainers are going more direct to consumer fan bases and more style, which means you kind of got to be more open to the fans, more in touch with them, more, you know what I mean, the, with the way stuff is going now. So like you said about the mystique, but the wrestling, what I noticed, just, I don't wrestle, I'm just a fan, but just notice as, a, as in wrestling, it seems like that fine line is getting... That ends up being an issue in what you're saying. Yeah, because sure. things are kind of changing. When everything else in the world, you know, more it's like, hey, oh well, I know this artist or I know this movie star. I got a direct relationship with them, and whatever they put out, I could just you know hit them up or hit up their people. You know, more of a direct to consumer fan base. When wrestling is, it's kind of that line is kind of is blurred now, brother. And it's mm -hmm. and, and when I'm seeing like when I'm like going to events and I'm seeing like fan bases side by side with wrestlers but they're not communicating but they're just there yeah and i'm like mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah we're at this party but you're just like i've i've, I've seen your account talking crap about yeah. shows, and then you're kind of like standing like right next to like braun Strowman. i'm like I don't like the fact that this is here. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's I like there's, like no, sick, there's no I, I safety I, I, there. Yeah, it's just like it's here. While while it's on top of my mind, like <laughs> this, this is going out to any wrestling, wrestling. I'm going to say wrestling fan that has. And again, be be honest with yourselves. Like if you have genuinely nothing good to say or positive to say, and I mean absolutely nothing, and it's just criticism about the product all the time. Do yourself a favor. Respect the fact that you only live once. Put your energy in something else yeah. because you're just creating so much negativity. Not not for everyone else. Like I, I can read it and it doesn't affect me, but like you're just not putting actual um, respect on how long you're here. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're just putting, you're watching constantly a thing that you don't like, a thing that you want to criticize, the thing that you 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 bash and you, you it, you're creating this negative aura about it to yourself and yourself only. I'm like. If this is how you generally feel about whatever, it could be, it could be a TV show, it could be anything, it could be a girlfriend, it could be whatever. Get rid of it. So, like at the same time, like if you're someone who is like on social media constantly bashing wrestling constantly, and you have nothing good to ever say, do yourself a favor and just exit. You know what I mean? Just do do something else. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> I see it all the time, and I, it's, it's, it's not even like just a wrestling thing. I'm seeing it on like all forms of all forms of entertainment. Yeah, yeah man. Like, like, I'm like, I'm like, I, I enjoyed this movie. No, it was this. It was that. It was like the, the directing, the cinematography was there. So much CGI. I'm like, I don't care. I'm not analyzing. I'm enjoying the film because yeah. it's an actor I like with a a plot that I'm like that intrigues me. Yeah. Like, like uh, growing up in wrestling, you didn't just like the main eventers. You liked other characters throughout sure, the show. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, I always use this example. I'm like, dude, like I like crash Holly. Was he going to main event mania 17? No, but I, that didn't take away the enjoyment of me. But if I had a social media back then telling me don't like crash Holly because he's not ever going to do that. I'm like, no respect our RIP with crash Holly and stuff. But like, no, I want to watch him. Cause I like him. Yeah. Like Krillin was not going to main event dragon ball. He's not going to kill cell. He's not going to kill free. No, no. It's not going to happen. But I still want to see Krillin. You enjoy the characters, right? <laughs> I, for sure, I man, enjoyed yeah. the characters. Yeah. And like, I don't like that social media is kind of taking that joy away from people yeah. that just like characters. They just like people. They just like content. And they're telling you, like, no, you're not cool for liking that. And, yeah. You know, yeah or, just, or you're dumb for liking that. Like, yeah, oh, you man. like this? Why? That's, that's uh, one of those big things that I kind of half alluded to before. I yeah. hate that because it's so yeah. hard to get into new things now, not just wrestling, oh, but just new things for young people. It scares me now because my brain obviously has switched for in sure. the last couple of months. And now I think more about 
my daughter, like how yeah. she is going to grow up. And I'm like, what's she going to get into? Because if she tries to get into things, she's just got people like, don't bother. This thing yeah. sucks. This like, thing no, don't sucks. Let the, don't this let this, su- don't, don't let define yourself. Hate, yeah. Yeah, don't define yes, yourself by the things that you hate. Define yourself by the things that you actually love. And that go bring and you joy. Yeah. Focus on them. Focus on the good bits. Yeah. Like, I'm, like I, I can't, like, uh, especially as musicians, like, like we, we make music. Like we don't want a fan base tearing down our music to like not listen to our music. No, if like you're yeah. a fan, you like something, you like to hear something. There's something like all the product we put out. There's something that you're gonna enjoy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah, love sure. the entire album or the every single. Maybe not this video, but maybe this video. I'm like, oh, okay, this video. I'm like, or just, or to me, I don't like the fact that like people are like like to crap on something that's now that hasn't fully blossomed yet. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I'm like, don't shit on this now. Like, wait till it fully becomes whatever yeah, it's going to yeah, be. Yeah. Follow the journey. Be respectful of the journey. But like, crapping on somebody's like something or whatever. Not even just someone. Just a product in itself in its early forms. I'm like, all right, keep that same energy when it blows up and does this. I just feel like I just feel <laughs> like sure, I, just, yeah. I feel like we're wrestling this. You know, this as a fan, you guys don't don't get that that grace period that that luxury to do that. Uh, you can listen to an album and an album could be a classic, but. It has 14 songs, but you might not like two of them. It doesn't mean it's not a classic. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. Just yeah, the yeah, two yeah. songs you might not favor. Or those songs, or or in this case, so kind of what you're saying, but I'll, I'll sum it in a music point. You might listen to a song, track three on the album. You might not relate to it. You listen to the album two years from now, you went through it, yeah. you like, you like and you it, like yeah. the record mm-hmm. because oh, it's my. something that you relate to. But it seems, yeah. like, yeah. it seems like in wrestling, y'all don't get that luxury, bro. Have you noticed this as well? Like, <laughs> so many people, if someone were to comment on a 14-track album and say, didn't really like track two and three. Absolutely love this, 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 and this. This is why I love track nine. This right. little bit really spoke to me. Like they've right. still said something negative, but it's the way you say it. I think a lot of right. the time, like I don't want to tell people if you don't like something, you're not allowed to say you don't like it. Of yeah, course you are. Yeah, That's yeah. your opinion. But right. yeah. it's the way that they it's dive, the they yeah. deep yeah. dive right. into the negative <laughs> things and they define themselves by the negative things. If like, you like track nine, you need to be in a car accident. Whoa, <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> if you don't like something, fair enough. You can say you don't like it. Even publicly, you could say you don't like it. Just going but off just what you were saying. Don't, def- don't lean into that. Why don't we focus on the good stuff? It's, it's hard, just going man. Off what you were saying, right. like, uh, I, 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 if it wasn't wrestling, it'd be music that I'd probably be doing. Like, Ooh, okay. I love music. It's just something I've, uh, it's just that my dad's a musician. I love music. So, oh, what was he? What would he, what do you used to play? Like, so uh, he plays piano, uh, <gasps> guitar, and sings. Uh, oh and he did. Why am some I just knowing this? He did some sort of brass instrument as well. I tried to do guitar, but then I came in cross wrestling, and yeah. it was just that. But like, well, um, twelve years old. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it was just that was it for me. But like, <laughs> your DNA was already shaped. <laughs> you know, like you said before, that like, um, like there's so many albums out there that are just classics, right? But like to become a classic, it has to have time to, you know become a classic you know it doesn't come out and all of a sudden people go it's a classic it's like you gotta let it sit you gotta let it yeah. you know test the time yeah you know it's, and then obviously then it becomes a classic like yeah that takes time you know like you look at say for example like this is stuff i like but like when you know rumors of fleet fleet when mac rumors came out like as soon as it came out people were going that's the thing for the next 40 years because they have no idea but yep. like over the next 40 years, it just never left. It never left. It never left. And even like my generation, and even younger generation love it. And then it's like, okay, now that's a classic. That's a classic. Like, you I, know what I, I mean? like for example, I just, I just saw, saw heard news that the Doobie Brothers and Michael McDonald are coming back together. And I'm over here ecstatic. And these guys are like 60 year old men, you know, 70 year old men. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, Michael McDonald's teaming up back with the boy. Like, it's just, it, it, I understand what you're saying, man. Some things you got to give, but you, you got to let it nurture. You got to let it, but. I think that for everything, I think that for like wrestlers as well, like, you know, if anyone watched me from like when I started, like, and they, they had that like sort of like anyone, anyone who starts, you know what I mean? No one's good. No one's good when you start, but you, it takes time. And like, if, if people watch people now and then all of a sudden they just write them off like that, like how did they even, how did they even get good? You know what like, I mean? I, like we won't, we wouldn't have a Cena. We wouldn't have a Orton. We wouldn't have a Sting. We wouldn't have a, a Jericho. We wouldn't have these greats. If yeah. we got on them like in their early stages, like who would have thought like, you know, like, like seeing Jericho and WCW with the social media, just like talking, like critiquing and critiquing and oh, critiquing yeah, and right. critiquing and pulling and pulling away and pulling away, and pulling away to where he is now, like one of the greatest to ever do this stuff. It's like, well, thank God social media came later. <laughs> right. Yeah, because yeah, we were kind of shunted sure. so many like, you imagine, careers growth. You like, know, could you imagine like the Beatles with social media or like Tupac with social media, like oh, at their man, time. Yeah, for sure. What? 
<laughs> it, 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 I worry about yeah. that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Me too, who, Like, who, like, who's your favorite artist or band or whoever you would say? That is so hard. I, that's actually really hard for me. Both I, of you guys. I want to know both of you. Um, so it's really hard for me because I, I go through phases of things. For, oh, yeah. I just go through phases. So, like, um, so like one of my go-tos that's, like, I think it's because I came across them at such a, such a young age and it's just been with me, is, like, Green Day. So like Green Day was oh, like yeah. real young and I got into them then. Um, I'm actually seeing them later on this year that I'm like first time ever, but I'm like super stoked to see them. Did you um, did you feel like they were the, the, they were like a, a classic act in the midst of it when you were like, when they were like hot out fresh? Yeah, new? so like I when I came across them, uh, it was, again, it was my, my dad's obviously into like all sorts, but like uh, I was like nine, 10 and he gave me Dookie. Like, mm-hmm. and I, I came across it then and then Two years or three years later, American Idiot came out, and that was like red hot at the time. Obviously, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I, like, I remember that time. <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> I that time. I was like, brother. classic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And like when that, and then uh, and then obviously I was all over that. And then I remember like ten coming across Nirvana, oh, and yeah. I was like, I was like, what the? again? Because like when you're a kid, you don't come across anything like this. All of a sudden, I came across Nirvana, and then shortly after, I like LimeWire was the thing, right? Yeah, so LimeWire was the thing, right? <laughs> so like, <laughs> you cool with me, dog? So like, I, across, I was like, I was like, what is what is like, and I was like, eleven here, going into like high school, and I was like, oh, what, what yeah. is System of a Down? Like, what's this? And like, what's yeah, Slipknot? Buddy. And all of a sudden, like, I am completely shocked because like. I'm listening to like pop punk or like whatever, like Blink-182 stuff. Yes. All of a sudden it's like System of a Down, like Slipknot. When I, I'm go, like, I love going to the UK, they still play it. Yeah, they, like, they, they still bring that shit out. Oh, I'm yeah, like, no. Um, so it's really hard for me when it comes to like, like my favorite artists because it just, I've got so many different, for different times of my life, Yeah, I've got like sounds for different things, you know? Um, I, I, when I heard Linkin Park, uh, Linkin Park, like, end, oh my God. Like, I was like, Classic, Ooh, like classic. I, I, never, knew, I knew it that day. I was like, "This is going to be I a classic." Never got to see them. Never ever oh, got to see them. I, know, me like, too. I still play their music video. I, I have the music videos. I, I play. I like now, like on trap when I'm traveling and stuff. I'll play the like the live concerts. Like, oh, they're so good. Man. The lives so are good. very, very. I play good. the lives of the song. I yeah. think the lives are better. Oh my god, I I feel it. They also yeah. show yeah. how good musicians like, they are, right? Like because. Yeah. Because it stands up, but that's not just created somewhere in a the studio. They they're good Man. musicians. Because well, it's like, um, the, well, the the, sh- the arenas they were doing were just huge. I like the intimacy of them talking to the audience. Like you're gonna feel this. Yeah, yeah. I need y'all to get right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I oh, love my, that I love, feeling. Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. Like, you were, yeah. I, so I'm like, I'm just like, Ooh. so like one of my favorite bands I've ever watched um, is uh, Slipknot. Oh it, is, it is. It is. It's, it's a crowd participation act. Exactly. So it's like a big. It's a big thing. Like they don't just do like you know whatever is on stage. There's like uh, I've seen them before when they had like a whole carnival in the background. Yeah. And, like there's like things going around constantly. It's like a big production. Is that when uh, uh when it was on the drums and he was yeah yeah, yeah, it yeah, was, yeah okay. it was unbelievable. But then like they do things where like at certain points like um like when they when they play spit it out they get to a point where everyone has to get to the ground. And then when the build up, build up, build up, everyone yep. jumps and they get everyone going wild. And then they're like the splitting of the seas and all these things. Man. And like, that's like, you feel the energy, especially like when you're it. a wrestler, like, or like if you're a guest musician or something, like you're doing anything that it to crowds, you feel it more because you're like whole, you know? Yeah. When we did, when we did uh, Wembley, I couldn't help but just go back and watch Freddie Mercury. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're, so like, that's oh one of those God, ones where I like, when I was it. younger, <laughs> when I was younger, like it was like numb to me because I was, too young yeah but when i go back and watch that now yeah. i'm like wow that's like special yeah. i was like i had to go back and watch this for, to, to get like ready to get, just to feel the goosebumps again yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. man like uh, it's to me it's like music gets me into the mm-hmm. space for the wrestling nowadays you know it's like 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 n- not like the watching wrestling gets me into the mood for wrestling it's just like i need to feel like the energy and the, the that goosebumps that chill so yeah, I think like now when it comes to wrestling, like, cause we've done so much wrestling and like, I, I know loads of wrestling holds or whatever, right? It, yeah. I, it kind of is a bit numb to me cause I know it's just all tools to get to where you need to go to emotionally. Yeah. But like when you see something, for example, like um, Adam Copeland's return to wrestling completely, yep. like knowing the backstory of him being away for nine years cause of his neck. Yeah. Like that energy in that room is, you know what I mean? Just things like that. Like, uh, or like, you know, Brian Danielson coming back. Like it's an actual coming back from a career ending, career yeah. ending injury. 
You know, those, those, those sort of things, they're like, whoa, you know, you, you feel yeah. it, right? Where do you feel, where, uh, where do you get that feeling from now? Where do you, do you pull from it or a little bit or do you watch something? Do you kind of like get in that space to yeah. get that feeling? I, I, I say, Zach, this for, specifically for wrestling. Um, anything really, I would say it doesn't have to necessarily be wrestling. No, it's uh, from from all different walks. Like the s- similarities and the things that pull from wrestling from other walks of life. We were talking, yeah. obviously, just talking about music there. Like I'm not as deep into music as some other people are. Sure. Uh, but just to answer that previous question, while it's still fresh in my head, before I lose yeah. myself, it's also a massive question. But when pushed, I tend to answer Led Zeppelin. That's my go-to answer. Is my yeah, nothing wrong? Is my that. top guys? Yeah. Um, I think you get inspiration from all sorts of places. Get enjoyment from all sorts of places. Like, um. Some people ask us, uh, this is kind of a slight tangent to get there, but some people ask us, um, what's our next dream match or what's the next thing that we want to do? Yep. That's not really how I like to operate. I, I guess kind of alluded to in a previous answer when you asked um, what I was looking forward to. Yeah. I'm more like get, getting given things and then just living in that moment and then yeah. seeing how that goes. Like, who's your ideal opponent? Like, if I get to pick, it, it probably won't be the same. I like yeah. you giving me some sort of puzzle to solve. And then okay. just organically letting it happen and not forcing it. I, yeah, again, actually, sure. I'm answering about six or seven previous questions here now. But <laughs> when we said, what do we think's missing in wrestling? I actually think sometimes it's a little bit too um, organized and uh, overproduced. Mm, okay. I think one of the things that can be missing yeah. sometimes is that it's not as organic. I agree. And that's what gets me more fired up, that when organic things happen, uh, just for a, one more slight tangent, one of the things I love about wrestling the most right now because we have this ongoing little thing, like we'll put together our, I hate it, I hope I'm not shattering someone's illusion about pro wrestling, but we'll put together our biggest highlights for the matches that we want to do, and that's what's in there. But we're still of a of a style of wrestling where we do make a lot of it up while we're in there. Yeah, yeah. And it, those are the bits that I enjoy the most. Which and they're the bits that sure. I've never once got backstage and talked about the spot that we planned because I knew it was going to go that way. Yeah. I more like the things when somewhere in the middle of the heat, for example, we're just giving shooting each other a look while we do something that we had no idea we were going to do. Yeah. He'll do it to me. I'll do it to him. We'll be on the apron going like, oh, fucking hell, I didn't see that coming. That was yeah. nice. <laughs> Try and bob each other. Uh, what was that about? What that did you do same, here? What do y'all connect as as far as like just people? Like on the travel. Y'all got a lot of traveling to do coming up. Where y'all connect? What is like in that bond? Like outside of the wrestling? Honestly, it's just all sorts really, isn't it? There's not, yeah. I don't think there's like one thing that is like, our thing no um we met through wrestling yeah. so like i did meet jd when he was 12 and i was 15 and oh, then we kind of like went off and did a little bit and then we came back together at that age i thought i was meeting someone completely new <laughs> turns out it's the same guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we've gone through a ton of different things but like we've been to gigs together before so we've been to concerts outside we lived together for a year in the uk yep. we lived together for a year out here with that comes you know going to theme parks going to uh, festivals, going to gigs, playing games together, playing video games together, just what y'all any, playing, man? All right, anything I and everything. Know. I got to know. What y'all playing? Oh, so. Y'all playing competitive or cooperatively? Uh, oh, so uh, if you're playing competitively, like, it's going to get ugly. But Smash Bros. You know, we uh, had to kick somebody out of the house one time when we had Smash Brothers. <laughs> we tried to make some content. We were like, this ain't us. No, this ain't you, us. Can't, you can't. You can't. Yeah, like, if, if we if we play Smash Bros. <laughs> all rounds. We got clean. It, it, all it, it got more tense as the recording went on. <laughs> so it got is, quiet. This was supposed to be fun. If but. it's a safe environment and <laughs> someone's filming me and we're playing Smash Bros, like, I'm getting cancelled. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. it's just so intense, man. Like, it got to a point where, like, so in lockdown in the UK, we didn't, we couldn't do anything. Uh, I had a friend who lived with me uh, in my house in the UK, and we played it. Oh, so we had we had bets at the end of the week. At the end of the week, it wasn't anything crazy, but it was like you buy me my food. But as uh, as as simple, as, as simple, men easy, as okay. men to men, there's a lot of gravity. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you buy me my food. You know what I mean? Like, so like, <laughs> you feel it, right? So like, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. I, we, we, the by the way, you say it, cause like, it hurts. I've bit. known the guy since I was like 10. Yeah. Like, and we are like best friends. We would be harsh with it. <laughs> so it won't be like, oh, you know, um, I won this week. So I guess you got to buy my food. It's like, no bitch. Buy my food. <laughs> my food or, or I'd be like, I'd write it down on a piece of paper and I'd scrunch up my throat in his face and I'd buy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it will be like hard like that. We'd be like that. We'd yo, be like that. Yo, imagine me. I'm going to send a telegram to Ian. 
Uh, <laughs> like, that, yeah. No, bro. I don't want to be my cash app number. <laughs> like, bro, we have my, a food. bad league, bro. Like <laughs> it is. It gets it gets tense sometimes yeah, in the, in the yeah, football yeah. league, man. Like me and him, we have a competitive game, but like like last week, um, I'll say it on the chat. I'll say it. His connection went out, and I got mad. I thought he quit on me. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah. I didn't hear from him for two days. <laughs> two days straight. I'm like, I'm walking to the airport. I'm like. He still ain't answered these last two texts. So he, he was texting me, and I thought he quit on me. <laughs> and I got mad at him, and I went, I advanced the week to go to the Super Bowl. Like I'm, like, I'm like, whoa, I thought we were redoing this. So, <laughs> so I, I got mad because I thought he quit on me. So, like, in these games, like, these games, and I don't normally do it, but, like, when it gets competitive because we're in the same oh, yeah, division, mind, yeah, same yeah, conference. Yeah. And we want everybody wants to win, so it, it it's yeah. like it's funny like that. We're almost brothers. How that only when brothers get this kind of thing happen. No, uh, we can't play basketball anymore. We no, don't play basketball. No, yeah, we do yeah, not. Yeah, no, we can't do it. We can't. Do it. Be on the line with that. I can't do it. I can't do it. I mean, we've yeah. we've tried like a, like different leagues, different years. We try to be on the same team. We tried to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we tried to like all right. You get a player. I get and then like we tried to. We you name it. We've tried it. It just can't be. It can't be basketball. It can't. It can't be. We did like a. Yeah. We did a tour in Germany, uh, 2018. Now it's mad that that's like six years ago. Oh, but like, um, we all had uh, Mario Kart on Switch. It's always Mario. Yeah, it always. You know what? It's always like the most innocent looking games. Bringing yeah. people together and then tearing them apart. Yeah. <laughs> as soon like, as the if blue we were shell shooting goes at each out, other, we'd be fine. Oh, yeah. Man. But yeah. something like yeah, uh, honestly, there was there was certain people on that coach because we all had we're on this like fancy coach. Yeah. Man, and there's like people that don't really know us, but then there's those people that do. By the end of that whole week, like they learned some new language. <laughs> you know what I mean? They they learned some very Trent very, Seven, yeah. very good at Mario Kart. Yeah, I hate him. very I good imagine. at Mario Kart. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, um, we're not like you know. I don't think we've ever played a racing game together. I don't think we have, bro. I don't think we've ever uh, played a racing game. Now everybody always asks us to stream our boxing fights against each other. We can't do that. Because we play boxing, and we it is a that. literal chess match. It, you want to talk about, like, Floyd Mayweather versus, like, Sugar Ray, where it's, like, a defensive matchup. If you want, like, the Mike Tyson type thing, that's not going to happen. We're not clubbers. We are, like, we're chess. Like, we're chess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He slips it out. I, I slip. We're, we're circling around the ring. We literally will throw like jabs and hooks and like give each other space. We are, we're point fighters. We yeah. are we're, literally yes. going like, bop. But the pot. And <laughs> 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 run. I will survive off a left hand jab yeah. oh, to the man. body. And I'm like, you, what, what, what do you want us to stream? Because we don't talk. We're so yeah. focused. We don't speak. What do you yeah. want us to for, for me, it's the other way, though. Like, <laughs> I will say things that will get me canceled. Because I, oh, yeah. I would just be so angry. You know what I mean? Like, I can't do it. Like, But what we do, how we play competitively, if. We're on the chat with each other, then we're cool. But if it's a game that means a lot, we don't speak on the chat. Like, nope. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Don't we don't speak you. on chat with each other if it's a game that means something. But if we're like just like an exhibition, we'll be on the chat, we'll talk shit. And and, and, and you better be home with the home connection. <laughs> don't be on the hotel Wi Fi. So right, yeah. right. So don't be in no Ramada Inn. When we uh, <laughs> get some. it got to the point with the Smash Bros where we didn't use the switch controllers, we both invested in pro controllers. Oh, I you know we're both real, bro. Oh, we're both, we both got our own pro controllers. Like the music's very quiet. There's no, uh, you know, items in the game. We've took all oh. the items off. And we've oh, done like, we've done like battlefield, like no jumping things, like nothing that can actually say we lost because you might of as well play Gran Turismo. Bro. Oh man, it was it was like like heart rate up uh, up in the world, like heart palm to sweaty, like everything like that. We're like, oh man, like none of us speak. None of us speak. And then one of us get tilted because you've lost twice. And then it's like, where do you go from here? But that's the thing. I think that's just the thing about competitors and as men. We want, we, if we beat it's you, fun, though, we want to beat you at your best. Yeah. We don't want no excuse. Oh, we man. don't want nothing. You had everything you wanted and I won. Competition. <laughs> Competition in anything is so, so important to drive. I want to know. I beat, I want to know. I beat you at your best. I beat well. you at your best. Like, there's nothing. And then at the end of the week, I'll throw the order at you. <laughs> <laughs> Food now. <laughs> Dude, no. Like, uh, there's certain people I can do that with. Ian's one of them. Ian's one. I'm like, if I got him, I'm just I'm stomping him. I'm like, nope, nope, not letting up, not letting up. And he's like, like it'll be like eight seconds left. I'm up by like four, four touchdowns, four scores, and I'm like, and another one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, did you really God. have to do that? I'm yeah. like, because like I know the time before. He would have done it to me, so I'm just gonna keep rubbing it in. Like him, I'll be like, all right, I'll, I'll, 
I'll throw you a bone. I got so <laughs> there was one. There was one time um, we changed from Smash Bros to Soul Calibur. Um, oh God! Soul Calibur super underrated. Yeah, by very, Calibre, very, very much, much so, man. Very much. But, so. Like he was very good at that. Like I got good. We both like 50-50 and all of a sudden it was seventy thirty, and he beat me one week, and I was I near but so it was like so ahead, and then I got right up to him. By the way, by the end of the week, because it's yeah. COVID, we're doing nothing. We can't do anything because it's COVID, right? Right, right. We're playing like, the, the end goals are like 70, 69. We played that many games that week. <laughs> like, so it, it, it was up there, right? Yeah. He ended up beating me twice on the right, on the on the bounce. Thursday night, 12 o'clock at night. So it bleeds into Friday, we're done. Like he's won. We have a whiteboard in the kitchen. Like that's how much it is. We had a whiteboard in the whiteboard kitchen. Whiteboard in the kitchen. And like, I walk into the kitchen and I break it. He bought it. He bought it. I, I walk up and I go, I'll, I'll owe you money. And I walk in, I just break it. And my bleeding, my hands bleeding. I headbutt it. I'm bleeding here. I'm just so angry. I'm just so angry. I, I, and then, he's, but he's laughing. He's just laughing because he's like, I got you. You know what I mean? Yep. I turn around and John, do you know what he says? John. He just turns around and goes, and he just tells me his order. <laughs> he just tells me his order. Doesn't say anything else. He just goes, well, I forgot what it is. Just say it's lasagna. It's like lasagna and cookies from this place. And he just walks away and I'm just there going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the fries. Yeah, no, honestly, he was like that though. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Are you like, Man, oh my God. Like uh, Anthony King now with the new Tekken. Y'all been fighting, y'all been going back and forth. How's that? How's the new Tekken? It's, it's, I, I have it if y'all want to try it out. It's, it's amazing, but my God, the new like rush system, if you get hit with that thing, you might as well put the controller down because you're just going to get bobbled in the air. And there's nothing <laughs> you can do. And, like, anybody can do it. It's not like, oh, if you're good, you can kind of, uh, like, okay, boom, yeah, boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom. No, anybody can just blah, 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 boom, 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 boop, and down. But, 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 I'm like, oh, I, didn't get a, I didn't get a single chance uh, to hit. It. So if you go online with it. Game over. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 for sure. That, that, that's all I'll say. So I tried that once with Smash Bros. I was like, because we were getting good. I was like, you know what? I think I'm good at this. I went, on, I went online. Five minutes later, I was just in the corner going, I'm not good. I'm like, no. I would love to see what, what species this is that are playing these games online because AI, it's not it's human. AI, it? Oh it's my some God. And it's like the game has been people. out like a month. It's like, who is, who's who's doing who knows this, yeah. this already? You know what it is though? It's an eight-year-old kid. Yeah. It's an eight-year-old oh, yeah. kid. Just like, of the time. And, that's what, and that's what I'm learning as I'm playing, as I get older. I'm like, my reflexes with my fingers aren't right. as good as not, when I was like 15. Good. Yeah. Like I'm like, I, with, my game used to be Tony Hawk. I used to hit like yeah, two, yeah. two million two million point combos on Tony Hawk Underground. That's cool, man. I would hit. I would like run the whole level, keep going, and then run it back again on one combo. That's I could cool. I could clear out the two minutes with one combo. Nowadays, I'm like, ugh, 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 my fingers just don't aren't quick enough to catch like on my reaction time. Something's off. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know how yeah. I know I'm getting older. So we went to the. I took my kids to the arcade and we we're playing games and stuff. And I grabbed Guitar Hero. I'm like, oh, I know this. I know this song. I used to play this 10 years ago on PS2. Forget about it. And I'm like waiting on the time. Like, oh, shit. My timing's off. <laughs> and it's just the three buttons. It's not like the hard difficulty. You got to press all five. It's just the three. The red, green, and yellow. And I'm just, I'm like, I'm washed. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't got it no more. It's over. It's, yeah. it's done. And I know the song. I used to play. I used to Wait till your four-month-old starts getting you. Oh, I know. Wait, oh, it's coming. I it's coming. I, I Dude, it's coming. I played my son in FIFA and he was dusting me. I said, I'm It out. is coming. My, is my coming. nieces and nephews I play FIFA with and they smoke me. They smoke. My son's kicking my ass now. I'm like, I'm out. My, <laughs> my daughter beat me on Mortal Kombat. That was a tough pill to swallow, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. She, um, I, it was a part, I was playing uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales and I got to a part, I was just like, ah, I'll leave, I'll let it go. She comes over, I have her for a week. Like, the game's done. Yeah. From start to finish. So I'm like, so you played past the part that I was at and then, and then beat it. And unlock some shit I didn't even know. I'm like, oh my god. Do you god. know what's great? So, I, <laughs> I, I, so I tried to go back and play some games that I grew up on. And I'm like, I don't know how anyone had the patience back then. Oh, like, oh god, it's hard. I used to be big on Final Fantasy. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. The, the original, yep. like, so, like, you know, it's six, sorry, seven. Uh, yeah, seven was the first one, eight, nine, ten. I went back to play eight. And I'm like, how did I have any patience to do this and also figure it out because i i'm like i'm an adult now and i'm going back to play and i'm like wait i have to google how this system works again and I, when i was a kid yep. there was no such thing as google in it so i was you like just, i didn't go you were good uh, I was, and now when i try to play it now it's brutal brutal Horrible. Like, like um 
Try playing Grand Theft Auto with and try and aiming out the window with the trigger buttons again. Uh, no, oh no. God, I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's yeah, awful, man. and you can't shoot straight. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's awful. It's it, there's a lot of like things like I'm just like, I'm like, even on PS3, certain PS3 games, I'm just like, this controller just feels awkward in my hand now, yeah. and like like the mechanics are weird. Yeah, they, like, it's got loads better these days, yeah, right? Yeah, Everything's like, like almost slick. I like remember playing Resident Evil Four. I'm like, you mean I had to stand and shoot? Stand I couldn't right. walk and shoot at the same. How did I get through this game? Did you play the remake? I'm, I'm about to. Somebody, um, I was at a fan fest this week, and they're like, you got to go okay. back and play it. And Enjoy so, the remake, man. Because I, 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 I need to get on it. I, I played it, but like I just didn't savor it. it does that make yeah. sense? Like I just went right. I'm playing it, and I just did it, and it was great. And it was great, yeah. but like I didn't savor it. Uh, and I wish I just did because, like, when t- the second when it's hard two to remake save for came a game out nowadays, yeah, like, yeah, especially like, like are, when are you're you an playing adult. anything new. Uh, uh, no, yeah. I'll be honest. No, my whole I, I've, I've changed some nappies. That was new to me. Uh, that was that was new. <laughs> like it was as fun as some of the recent games I played. But uh, <laughs> me and my friends actually did the opposite. We were playing FIFA, and then we went back to one of the very first games that we had when yeah. we were kids, and we played Sega Soccer. Because my mate still had it set up in his oh office, my God. and it, it is terrible, like <laughs> awful. It's oh, it must be no. like it's only several steps in front of like pong, but <laughs> because we're all so competitive, it still ended the same way as you guys playing the boxing games. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's just it doesn't matter that it was limited controls. It doesn't matter that there's only three buttons. It doesn't matter that you can just there's no yellow cards or it. You just slice through the players and the Man. things so janky, oh. but. It's competitive. You can still be a winner and a loser. So we were fully invested. Playing. And that was some of the most intense games I think we played in ages. I was Sega just, Soccer. Just playing Super Nintendo with my daughter. And we were playing Super Mario Brothers on Super Nintendo. And just from going going to the forward motion to avoid get, hitting people to get in Yoshi, I'm like, yo, I am old. I can't do this no more. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't I can't do it. I'm trying to teach my daughter how to play Super Nintendo. And like play side scrollers Super- are impossible. So, it's, like, I'm washed, <laughs> bro. Impossible. I can't do it no more. Dude, oh my god! Like, um, for me, it was uh, what was I playing? I tried something recently. God, man, I might have to look over there because I'm pretty sure the game's just sitting over there. You ever go back and try and play Crash Bandicoot? Impossible! Impossible! I can't do it. Impossible. I, I believe my daughter was just Impossible. playing that too. It's so, so hard. hard. And I, when I was a kid, I would, that was me. I just did Impossible. it. Impossible! How did I do it? I used to float through that game. Yeah, yeah. easily. Like, uh, not easily, but like. But you, you, what, yeah, like now I, I just can't do it. And my, like I said, my, I'm, I'm, there's something about my reaction time. It just is not like the sensors aren't clicking all the, all the way there. It's just weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. I, get I it. love how we're all sitting here trying to figure out why we're not as good spiral. at games anymore when we jump on our spine for a living. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wonder like, what it could oh, be. Uh, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> nerves. Oh, my fingers. Yeah, man. Uh, anything else y'all looking forward to? Yeah. Um, uh, coming up, uh, like, Movies, I feel like I just kind of washed right now. Oh, you, um, you guys into like horror films? Yes, yes, I I've am. just seen, I've just seen the the trailer again. Uh, trailers are meant to be made out to make things look good, but I just saw the trailer for the new Omen, uh, and that looks good. Which one was it? What was it? It's the new Omen. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen the trailer for it yet. It, I, wa- I literally watched it as I was leaving the house. Oh, and it looks good. I'm gonna it, put that on. What it is, really. it looks good. Yeah. But again, you know what trailers are like. Trailers yeah. are meant to make it look Especially good. horror trailers. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a, trailers I, I love horror tricky. films, but I'm like a stickler for them. Like yeah. everyone is like, uh, like the, I think the last true horror film, that came, well, two of them that came out, like true, true horror films. Yeah. Oh, three uh, was Get Out. I, oh. I think that's like a true horror because it's like the feel of it is just like, you yeah. know what I mean? You, you leave the that, cinema that's, and you're like, that's how oh. I felt in the theaters after watching. I was like, yo, this is like a horror film. Yeah, right. This yeah. is so something like, to be scared of. And yeah. then like yes. um, Hereditary was another one. Oh, incredible. You know, like honestly, That one that so got good. better the more you watch it. Yeah, watch no, it like yeah I've watched time. it like three or four times Same now. thing, same here. And uh, the the same people who did it, uh, Midsummer. Midsummer's good. Yeah, yeah. and again, it's because it's not like jumping out like boo sort of stuff, but it's just like this feel that you're like, I don't feel comfortable. You know what I mean? You just feel sure. uneasy, and then when it finishes, the, you just can't stop thinking about it's it. It's the elevated horror. Yeah, genre. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's just like something's in the air, and it's like a spirit, not an actual entity. It's just like the yeah. idea of it is just horror. It's really un- uneasy. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, and then like more recently, again, it's not the same because it's more slasher. Is uh, like the terrifiers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, that's, I just, like, that's blood. Like, but just I like throw it out there. Yeah. Because it's like a, it's like a, it's like a love story. It's like a love lo- love letter to eighties slashes. Like you know practical I mean? effects. Yeah, and it's yeah. like because it's it's pretty much just like 
blood and guts, but it's like, you know, as of the eighties, but like, uh, Man, oh. I, I got my wife to come with me to watch it and she's not really a horror fan, but she didn't also know it's it's like a love letter to the eighties. Yeah. So she was watching Terrifying and she was like, What's this? What's going on? And I'm like, <laughs> forget it. I'm like, forget about it. So last night I just watched uh I, I kind of I, I was on a flight, so I was like kind of like in and out of watching the Oscars a little bit. Right, yeah, yeah. And uh poor things end up winning. Uh not well, not poor things, but Emma Stone ended up winning poor things. And I watched that. We watched it maybe two, three nights ago before I left. Um, for the weekend, and I was like, "Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of humping on this." <laughs> that's a lot. The only thing I know about that movie. It's a lot. It's a. Well, it's a. It's a I don't know how to watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Uh, it's like <laughs> for very reasons. <laughs> <laughs> for for very, study yeah. purposes. Uh, for, I want to sell job on this. For, hey, for, hey, for promotional just, use only. It's just won an Oscar. I need to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> but like as I was watching, I'm like, she's probably gonna win an Oscar for this. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah it was sure. one of those. Like, uh, like, yeah. And it's like Emma Stone, which we've we all grown up watching Emma Stone yeah. ever since, like, you know, Super Bad and, so, and Easy A. Now seeing her just go buck wild, I was like, oh. <laughs> so oh, and it's like not like just like, oh, it's just like a lot of just one sexual scene. No, it's like multiple sex scenes <laughs> with multiple partners. I was like, oh. So you, so you, oh. So you mean there's a lot of give and take? <laughs> Yeah, do you want to do you want to Boo, <laughs> boo, <laughs> boo! That was that. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of like like yeah. well building things and stuff like that. So I've, yeah. I've really just enjoyed. It. I went to see June too. June, June, June. June. I was like, like sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I keep falling asleep. I on loved one. it. I need to see. I need, I need I, to watch. I need one. So what? Now and now that the second one's out, I think you'll be able to get through one better. Okay. Because I liked one. I didn't love it. Uh, I've heard a lot of people yeah, say yeah. this. A lot I of liked like, it. I didn't love it. Then, because now that number two was out, and we, I rewatched one just before I went to see number two, yeah. and knowing that I was going to get the payoff, yeah. I really enjoyed number one a lot more. Knowing I could actually Got finish you. the thing because it's not a complete, it's not a standalone yeah. thing. Joe, it's part one. There was a lot of controversy the fact that like the Spider Man um, across the Spider Verse didn't win best animated film. Oh, um, what did? Um, I forget what it was. It was another was film. It's oh, something like that. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's an anime film, but like there was like a lot of like, whoa, okay. what they didn't win. But oh, it's like, okay. it, I think they were holding it to the standards like, well, we got to see um, Beyond the Spider Verse to, yeah. to really give it the okay, award yeah, because it's sure. like, that makes sense. it didn't end with a ending. It didn't have them. So you can't kind of judge it on It's not like an co- open and closed book. Yeah. Right. I get that. So yeah, I'm like, I, I, I get it, but there was like some controversy on that. And then, of course, John Cena walking across the stage naked. I love that. The controversy. I, love that. And I was like, I was like, ooh, it's the rock. And then so then, um, yeah, Oppenheimer swept. Oh like, man, I seen that, so, was, I seen that coming. I, I, I fell asleep on that too. So I watched that when it came out. I'm like really into like history stuff. Yeah, uh, it's showing my age now. But like, um, I'm really into that stuff because it's just like it's just fascinating. Like the world we live in now. Yeah, is is is, is because of whatever's happened. Like it's yeah. a, it's a oh, butterfly yeah, effect, yeah. you know what I mean? Like whatever's happened, now we're here. Um, but I watched the film. I was really into it because I've watched, uh, listened to loads of podcasts about the whole thing and all that stuff. And like, I finished oh. watching it. And uh, can, can can they do that? I guess so. <laughs> uh, oh. I guess so. Uh. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh. yeah, the um, I watched it and I was like, finish it. Like you leave in the cinema, and it, the whole thing is like, you know. Um, the you know the wor- the Twitter worst thing that can happen up. to mankind is us. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was wa- I was walking out cinema and I was like really in my head like wow that was so deep and you know maybe we aren't the best thing in the world and whatever else. I watched it before like everyone else came to cinema. Mm. I leave in the cinema and I'm like really in my head and I'm like this is that was so heavy and I'm like thinking about everything. I get into the lobby and everyone's dressed as Ken and Barbie. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> uh, and, uh, like, you know what's And funny? then it confirmed, confirmed what you were thinking, right? God, we are the worst thing. Yeah, 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 I, was, I was just like, what? <laughs> I think I we like, need to do it again. <laughs> uh, for me, I, I, the, I think my favorite movie I've seen this year, it's March, but like over the past, like I would say year, I liked uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. With Leo, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I really appreciate that. I haven't that was, watched it, but it was on my list. It's like three and a half hours. I'm not gonna lie, but it, I, so the trailer looked great for it. Yeah, it's it's actually like very like it, it's, it's it's Scorsese at his best. Yeah, and I appreciated it a lot more. Uh, like I I liked it. I was like enthralled with the story. 
there's a lot of there's some violence, there's some like corruption and stuff, but like just just seeing like DiCaprio and De Niro just trade off. That's yeah. just like man, this is just how often are we gonna get this? It, yeah, it was, yeah, it was sure. really it was, and you know like movies yeah. like um, movie studios know that stuff as well. Yeah, so they'll be like, yeah, we'll do this, but we're not doing it again. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like we're not yeah. booking this again. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, and, but but like Christopher Nolan will keep the same cast. <laughs> like oh for sure, five six yeah, movies. Yeah. Like Cillian Murphy, Cillian Murphy, Tom Hardy, Cillian Murphy, Cillian Murphy. He's going to be cast them all over and over and over again. And then like you got Robert Downey Jr. getting his first Oscar ever. Yeah, that's I, I, I when I saw that I was like, really? I thought like, but then again, like, I was like, what would he what would he have won for? I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because. When you think of it, like he, he did play a big part in obviously like, Iron Man, especially with like the yeah, last. But you know those guys don't get like. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, they they get all they always get like the um, art direction and music and like best costume design yeah. and all. They get the, the those those awards, which is shout out to those people and stunts. Well, actually, stunts don't even get Oscar nominations. No, there's no stunt category. Oh, that's crazy, that, to be honest, because you think... There's no stunt some category. point, because some films have got some crazy fucking stunts. I, 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 you know what I mean? I mean? Freaking broke their bones and died and did doing you, stunts. Did you guys ever watch... Uh, God, I'm going on this tangent here. Did you ever watch the Daredevil series? Yes. Did you ever see, like, the, the fight scenes going up and down? That like, should win that all the awards. That was so good, man. I did, so there's, there's a YouTube uh, video of the filming of, oh. of the fight. And the what? The, there's, like, filming of it, and it's like... But it's just... Go non-stop. It's like a, yeah. it's not like and it's like go. How do you remember five the spots? Minutes. Right, <laughs> wild, right? How do you wild. remember the spots? I'm like, I, no, I was. You're supposed to punch prisoner number seven. I'm like, huh? Hey, <laughs> Call it in the yeah. That's what he did. I, got, I, I I remember there was this one um uh, uh protector and there's that stairway scene with Tony Jaa yeah. went up and stuff and I'm like, I kind of get it. You hit like. Um, anybody with a leather jacket, <laughs> like so. Anybody came up with them was just leather jacket. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty cool, man. We had a good conversation, man. Uh, man, I, it was good seeing you guys. It's good hearing yeah, good your story. You, thank you guys for coming. Hearing, man. Oh, yes, thank you for man. coming through. It was like an awesome, good time catching up with you. I don't really get to see you guys often, but every time I do see y'all, and every time, like just always, any any guests, every time we do rekindle after. Months and months and months without seeing each other. It's like no time has passed at all. It's that's like, the best thing about wrestling. Yeah, right? that's that's the, the brotherhood. Thing. Yeah, that's the sisterhood. That's the brother sisterhood. Equal opportunity sisterhoods, brotherhoods, all that stuff. Sharing all that, but that's how I feel about you guys. I can't wait to continue watching what y'all do. You're always welcome back here anytime y'all want to. Thanks, I want some. I want y'all to bring some gold back here, bro. I'm ready to see that gold on y'all and TNA. I want y'all, especially. What I really want to do, if I had it my way, I want y'all to come back with Ali together. Uh, okay, with yeah. All I, three of the gold. That's what I want. So we're going to leave this space open for y'all to come back here, man. Appreciate y'all. Whatever y'all got going on, let us know. Thanks, man. No, yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, what's what's going on uh, in uh, TNA coming up for you guys? So we've just finished off uh, pay per view Friday the, when we uh, teamed with Ali uh, and then TV Saturday. Uh, we've got some stuff coming up in the pipeline with TNA. Um, but yeah, honestly, so we're in Philly in what? A week is? Week oh, so? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah What's the actual specific so, date? So, 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 we we're, we're in Philly. so we're in Philly, uh, not this weekend, the weekend after. Yeah. But then we go from Philly, and then we do Ohio, and then we do all the things I said before, all going the all the way back to Philly, and then all this stuff. So yes, sir. It's fun. Like, uh, yeah. uh, you know, I live more on a flight, on a on a playing than I do at home right you know now. It, you know the grind. Yeah. You know it is. Y'all, ain't, y'all ain't used to this. Y'all true to this, man. TZ, tell them about it. What we doing? What's going on? Yes. You know, for, before anything, you know, once again, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the hit the likes, the share button. All the metrics help with getting the podcast out there. You know what I mean? We thank you for all the support, everything we have going on. Shout out to my brother and everything that he's doing as well. You know what I mean? On his journey. Shout out to my brothers over here, too. With their journey, make sure you guys go to uh, Swerve City Podcast Official on Instagram, at Swerve City Pod on Twitter. Hit us up. All the replies, shares, we love you, and stay interactive with us. And we have many more things coming up, music projects, videos, wrestling content, more podcast episodes, everything like that. So make sure you guys tune in. Hurry up. I got to pee. Be confident in everything you got to do. <laughs> everything you do. Watch it. <laughs> do your homework. I'm out. Ha, 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 ha.